you've got it recording, Katie. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Um, all right. All right, Katie, it's not letting me share screen. Do we want to have another conversation of the rules without... Uh... Well, she knows what's on the agenda. Yeah, I know she does, but still. Katie, why, Katie, I can't, yep. I can't share screen. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. Um, and if I remember right, rules of procedure. And I looked at my notes from the last meeting and oh, I think, I think this might be Sharon. She's always late. So anyways, while she's coming in, there's some chocolate zucchini bread here oh, nice. with napkins, but do not leave a crumb <laughs> or I will be in big trouble. Because I'm lice. I'm just How mice. Mice. Can possibly eat chocolate zucchini bread? I need to leave it. Well, you wipe leave your a crumb hand. here. I don't think so. We wouldn't be. Uh, we would. You know, <laughs> I'm with you. I'm into terrible chocolate. Oh, you can't do that, can you? You're I'm going to have one. I'm going to cheat because yeah. you know what? I've been pretty good. I've lost 32 pounds. You lost 32 pounds? Since May or so? Yeah. Still losing. Yeah. I'm still losing. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I did bring napkins if you can find them. If I can find They'd be like, oh, of course. Thank you, John. Thank you. Okay, so I think we can this first one now. Katie, are you going to be making the changes or am I? You are. Okay. So under Callous Rules of Procedure, I think that second line where it says D W M M. Just take that line out. Hi. Hey guys. Hi there. Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh, food. Yeah. Mm. Hmm? Yes, you're always Here you go. All right. There's a napkin right there. So we called the meetings order at six and on the rules of procedure to number two okay so this so you can can you i don't katie how do we make it bigger on the screen i can't tell denise if someone's responded already no, do I make it bigger on the screen or do you? Yep. If you're screen sharing, what you could do if you have a touchpad is use two fingers and like on the document to make it bigger. Or if you have a scrolling patty thing to run it up and down and make it bigger. Okay, I just did the two finger thing. I should explain this document is what I did was I took notes. But I took notes off the document that had Denise's comments yep. on it. I later discovered that there was a later version, but and a, clean. a clean version, but I worked off of this one. Yep. And what I did is I made changes, and this is the one that shows all the changes. Yes. Yeah. You can I have a clean version, but the point is. The only changes I made were, as per my notes, from our meeting. Or, you remember that you had lots of comments mm -hmm. and you crossed it. it, and I just crossed them out. Yeah, that's fine. You, okay. Yeah, so that's I got what it. this is. Yeah, I got but it. But this is not necessarily the latest. I, I wasn't working off the, the latest latest, but I have no past here. So, all right. Yeah, I was. I'm. I didn't know. I, I don't know. I would have liked to have known you guys are working off a clean version rather than one with some one person's comments, but that ship sailed. I did have a chance to go through everything today. Um, yeah, I guess I didn't realize that there was another clean copy. Uh, 
You might have sent it, but I missed it. I put it, it in every, in the, it I put in it in every single folder since the first oh. meeting in July or the last meeting in June when I announced that they were the comments were done and both the clean version and the strikes and highlights were in the folder. We didn't take it up for several meetings and each time we moved it forward into a new folder. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, number two. So this one, um, you guys changed apparently from May to from shall to May. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we had been through this entire thing, um, albeit I yes before Mark joined us. But everything that was in the clean version of what we had discussed and already agreed to, um, this change from shall to may is one of the ones that I I personally am not okay with. Because what we are trying to do here is be true to the commitment that we asked for our chair and the board to make in March, February. Here's my memory wrote. I asked for four things. And one, and this work is to ground us in meeting those commitments that we set out in March. So when we go from shall to may, 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 we are really not grounding ourselves in anything that has real, real integrity as far as I'm concerned. And if we had a stronger culture of actually doing these things, I may feel differently. But while we're in the business of trying to change our culture for how we work together as a board, then I feel that we need to, be, we need to stick with shall so that we are stopping every year and we have a practice of stopping and saying, okay, What's our, what's our procedures? How do we work together? Who's going to be the lead person on this or that or something else at a point in time where we just kind of hit reset rather than developing a pattern, which we have at this point developed, of just kind of humming along mm -hmm. without ever mm -hmm. pausing and saying, okay, are we still working the way we want to be working? Um, Rick, you've been kind of the lead guy on highway for a long time. Now is the chance where we revisit that and say, okay, is that still what you want to do? Or maybe you say no. And the new people, if we don't stop and do that pause and pull these up and say, how are we going to work together? They don't even have an opportunity because six months or a year or a year and a half or two in recent years goes by before you even kind of realize that this is a thing because we're not, we're not doing the shell. But I think we can, I think we can get to the same point with May. Denise May leaves a lot of room for I don't want to do that. No, no, I don't think so. Yes, it does. Yes, well, May, is, May means May, shall means shall. This, but this is not a legal document. It's where shall. It's still, if, if it says shall, then every year it's our responsibility to meet shall. shall. But if we don't, not, but if we don't, there's no enforcement mechanism. No, I agree with that. But it's still, as long as I'm on the board, shall means I'm going to bring it up. Yeah, right. right. And and may means other people can say yeah no. Well, we we, we could we, we could split the baby and say should. So at least uh, at the beginning of each year, this is one of the things we do. Can I ask a, just a logistical question? <clears throat> are there areas? One of the reasons are there areas of work where we there are obviously areas of work where we do want to appoint. And, we, and that's what we've been trying to right. do. Yeah. Are but there areas where we up, don't want to appoint? Yeah. Are there areas where we don't appoint a liaison and don't want to appoint Probably a liaison? Probably plenty of areas we're guessing, right? Most we don't. I mean, they, we've been doing it as a topic comes up. Right. And the way that this was originally drafted, which we all agreed mm -hmm. to in March, except for Mark, was that we I don't, would. I don't. I've always said I didn't totally agree with everything, so if you could that's, say, okay, that's yeah. been my position right along. Okay, but the fact that you don't agree, Denise, in part is one of the reasons I feel like we need to take it more seriously, because you're the, you're the chair, and what I asked you for in February and March is a commitment for a new model for how we conduct our meetings, and a genuine commitment that we will work as equal elected members. And to me, this is, this is one of the linchpins for how that really happens, is that we actually appoint somebody who is a liaison to particular topics or particular boards so that there's greater opportunity for somebody else to be the lead and that it's not, it doesn't necessarily have to start when there's a new topic. I agree that when a topic has come up, yeah. we have delegated a person for that 
thing, but not in a more global way. So we're saying that you know this or that is going to start with this person who's going to work with a, somebody in town or work with another committee to kind of get it ready for the board so that we're not sitting in our board meeting spending half an hour just trying to get to the nugget of what is this thing before we realize it's really not even ready to be here. And, and I think you, know, you do some of that now. A lot of times you don't have an opportunity or time or things evolve in the meeting. But if we had somebody who's, who was appointed to do that and we each all had different things that we were sort of the lead for, for a defined period of time, we could be more efficient. So I think if we could change the word to should. What if we were to say, I'm just going to try this on. You see in the next sentence, the first sentence says, a liaison to committees, commissions, work groups, and functions of town business, OK? Uh -huh. The second sentence says, similarly, various items of particular interest to the town that frequently come up. Okay, so they're sort of one's the more formal, one's the sort of less not more formal, more regular like committees and the others. And in that one we say for the ensuing year as a lead as a lead. So what if we were to say the body should identify a point person, sometimes a team, from the body to serve as a liaison to committee, etc., to serve for the ensuing year. The same language mm -hmm. for the ensuing year as a liaison, da, 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 da. then just leave the next sentence as it is. Well, I, I, so no. I so think that would mean yeah. just it's a one year appointment and it has to be revisited in the following year. Mm -hmm. So I think some of the confusion, some of this is just persnickety, but we were saying, that, well, you know, these things, these work groups or committees or whatever arrive at different points in time. They don't like, we have, right, right. we have liaisons to highway yeah. on a continual basis. So there are those positions. And, and I, I think if that were a shall, that's fine. It's just like we always have a chair and a vice chair, but throughout the year we have these mini committees and, you know, five week committees and things come up. It, and it, so, so, so the annual thing, the thing doesn't work. I, I think for established committees and established work groups, you might, Clarify that you you do it you shall annually, and we revisit that whether that person wants to keep doing it. Um, there was another kind of it's it's again it's it, we actually cured some minor um, phrase phraseology <coughs> issues just by getting rid of stuff um, for simplification. So the regional planning commission rep that's me. Right. Um, they're not I mean yeah and theoretically they're a liaison but they're actually an appointed position. So yeah. that would be yeah. different that, you know, I, I'm in that role. I'm like any member of the conservation commission or the well, planning you commission. You're, I'm appointed by the select board okay, so to represent what you're the saying, I'm just going to keep trying language. On yeah, that. yeah, keep okay. going. But that's what if it said, the body shall identify a point person, sometimes in a team, da, 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 on an annual basis to Committees, commissions, and work groups. Period. Not yeah, but but see, the annual basis doesn't work always. For even just those three. Oh, oh you're saying committees. Just, well, it depends if. Then it, the next sentence would okay. say the body may or should similarly identify a lead for various items of particular interest. In yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because sometimes without the anti. Only. In other words, the first one what yeah. you're saying is. Those are the ones where we have established. Right, lead right. Estab we have for established. So we you say know. shall, we go, we right. say shall annually there. Yep. But the next sentence we take out, we just, it shouldn't say shall, it should say should or something. Right. And then the only thing um, right. is. And that's what we're trying to kind of fix, I, cure, but that doesn't. I, I, can, I can let go of the examples, although it's, I think that they're useful to illuminate things. Um, and illuminate what this language means. Well, just, just a couple examples, or yeah. at least one is screwed yeah. up. Well, it's it's in Central Vermont Solid Waste Management, if, mm -hmm. if it just doesn't fit, just doesn't fit. Yeah. It comes yeah. Out. Right. Functions of town business, um, we have at, you know, at one point we had, and this actually is, is part of the genesis of where I'm coming from in this, we had at one point appointed, specifically appointed Cliff and Denise to serve as liaisons from the board to work with the town office on, you know, stuff. And, mm -hmm. and so 
that work went on for a while. At some point it stopped and the rest of the board, honestly, Denise, we were kind of unaware that you weren't meeting with them anymore and, and you know, maybe we should have been, but I wasn't aware. I don't think I'm alone. It wasn't happening anymore. And then there was a point where we became aware that it was happening again. And so that, so that kind of... Um, Can I clarify? The, the uh, when I'm finished, the, if we had a stronger discipline of saying, yes, this is, this is, you know, occurring, um, and some other patterns that we, we, we should have where we are, you know, we each get some time on the agenda to report in on stuff we're working on, then, it, then there would have been a time where you guys would have clearly said, we're not meeting anymore, and that's, that sort of maybe has wrapped up. Maybe on a quarterly basis, establish committees, yeah. liaisons to establish committees will report updates on a quarterly or basis. As needed. What happened, and or as needed. What yeah. happened with the office thing was COVID hit, and we were meeting in person. And then COVID hit, so we were doing things by phone. I think we did a couple of Zoom kind of meetings. So what, that's what happened is when COVID hit, we weren't meeting regularly because we weren't meeting in person. Right. Right. So if somebody had said, hey, are you guys still meeting with the office staff? I would have updated you, and I didn't think to just update. Right. No, so that's what... That's fair, but it, it is, as we all recall, result was a very... Um, I'm trying to pick an adjective. Some very sad disconnects. <laughs> sad might not... It's not the best word, but uh, we, had, we had some disturbing, troubling disconnects over over our over that whole thing and and then as as part of that I think um, I guess the other thing I'll say is that when when it's an annual thing it again contributes to a culture um, an understanding on people that you're working with that you know these two people are just right now the point people for the board it's, it's not necessarily long term um, and you know, it could, it could change in a year. In fact, in some circumstances, I think it would be really healthy if the board's appointed people changed just for the sake of change so that the framework is stronger than the particular people and it kind of keeps things a little tighter. Yeah. So what are we working on for language here? Well, I'm, one, Mark, one, Mark more question, one more question and then I'm suggesting that I'm not doing something. <coughs> the first sentence, yeah, there's five pieces there. I, I just want to get up right now. <laughs> Four, <counted>. three. <laughs> and two pieces. These are really good cook. Yeah, oh, no, pass it around for those I'll guys. I'll wait for the good uh, Okay. Is, and functions of town business. That's, yeah, so that was my long answer to why so, that's. That is that has meaning. That is. That's what I'm saying. Is does that really belong in that sentence or the second sentence? I think that having a point person um, to the town offices, so that Jeremy can say, "Hey, Mark, um, yeah. I'm not due to come to the select board until the next quarter. Do you think you guys could have some agenda sometime?" And it, you know, it's not your call, but you're like, "Well, we got a lot going on." And Jeremy says, here's, here's the things that are kind of on my mind. And then, and, and he has a, an ear, not a decider, an ear. Um, and, and sometimes we all know there are sometimes those things can be just handled. And then Mark can say, I heard from Jeremy. I just did. I just here, heard from Jeremy. Here's the thing. I told him, you know, go ahead and move the porta potty from the front of the building right. to the back building. It's fine. I just didn't understand it. Could we say the functions of the town offices? <clears throat> but I think if you put established after liaison to between two and committees, then it's established function of town business, and that includes the clerk. Wait, right? okay. I think that cures That's a lot. Great. Wait, what did, you, what did you do? Okay. Second okay. sentence serve as liaison to established committees commissions, work groups, and functions, established functions of town business. So um, then I, I think that cures, I think the okay. concerns we raised, because those are so ongoing work be, efforts. The committee shall annually identify a point person, sometimes uh -huh. 
that's team two, from the body to serve as a liaison to established committees, commissions, work groups, and functions of town business, yeah. the town yeah. office. Yeah. Established cuts well, across. Established cuts across yeah, yeah, all okay. those. Yeah. The, the body, those. and then I would say will or may, yeah. should. I could be fine with with should on the on the side. Should yeah. yeah, should makes more sense. Yeah, because it's yeah, it's not it's, it's in it's flux. Because it's, it, yeah, I mean various items. I mean it's really up to us. Yeah. Should identify similarly identify and then the rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are we? Yeah, I think that's it's kind of what we do anyway. But okay, um, Kate, did you have all that? Yeah, she's typing it in. Okay. Yes, one question I had that I wasn't clear on in the second sentence under number two, will that still include the words for the ensuing year or was that ensuing year distance struck from the second sentence? I think it could be say in myself, it just means mm -hmm. yeah. it's an annual appointment. If yeah. it didn't okay, thank you. put annually back into body, yes. the body uh -huh. shall annually Yes. Yeah. I thought we weren't using the word shall, I thought we were using the word should. The body no, should. The first sentence we said it shall. Shall in the Second first, because those are established committees. We narrowed the first sentence to be established committees. It's like reappointing planning commission members. I get, I get reappointed to the regional Somebody planning else. commission. I'm putting this near you. So that's part of our, our annual rhythm. It's what we do anyway. And, and it's yet, just yeah. and this just distills it in writing. It's not. I mean, I think the concern I can speak for the folks here last time was it said shall annually point person and you know it, it, these ad hoc committees that show up you know what we're talking about highway salaries and benefits across central Those Vermont are, I think like evaluation I that's mean different. that's different yeah. that's a you that's not so. but that's not established yeah, right that's and, right and, yeah that's and right. so right. shall's in there I mean I, we're going to try to have to figure that out as we go and and maybe it doesn't always fit maybe we want the whole select board involved in something like like bargaining right like right. we wouldn't have a, a liaison to bargaining okay. for right. I mean, the there, reasons and, that are obvious. Right? And sometimes you don't know that you even need a committee until something comes comes up. Right. And then it's like, oh, well, this isn't right. a. Well, short, our member brings it up. Answer. You brought up the idea about the highway committee. I mean, or sometimes it comes committee. from a group of citizens. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, like the ordinance, the livestock ordinance, that was something that made sense to have a separate yeah. ad hoc mm -hmm. committee. Yeah. Oh, yes, the yeah. ordinance. That is now in effect. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, by by, do, by having a liaison to a committee like the Livestock Committee, it prevents a lot of horsing around. <laughs> Listen, you, you're, 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 you voted for it. You're, you voted for it. You're a Cretan because you're changing us into New York City. <laughs> that's, well, that's right. No, Long Island, even worse. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay, number three. <laughs> this this came there this came from other this came from Hang on, hang on, take the back up. Or is that retired? Did we get established? Yes. Yeah. Oh wait, never I'm on the wrong sentence. Sorry. Never mind, keep going. Number three. The select board may appoint. I mean, this goes up. This goes back to number two, which is establishing committees. Right. This is committee. This is not liaisons. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And uh, yeah, that's open meeting. Subject to the open meeting. Right. Okay. Right. But yeah. Well, it says it up here. Right. We're clear that if it's two of us, that's not. You're it's not, not a quorum. Right. Not a right. Yeah. yeah. No, this is this is a good ad. Um. This is a straight yeah, I could so. not, by the way, Katie. If you, I can. My, I have trouble with words sometimes. Formatting and indenting and numbering. I could not get that to. I just couldn't get that to work. So good luck. Oh, the renumbering thing? Katie will figure no, it out. No, it's not just renumbering. I couldn't get it to paragraph in. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. It's, well, it's hard. All, all the changes are there, too. The next one you guys took out, or the town, which, 
Oops, can you give us a, a line number? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm on this, the top of the... No, number four, no single member? Yeah. Four. Uh, we actually had had that originally, and we took it out in one <clears> round, <throat> which was just for fun of mentioning that. So it, I thought we talked about taking it out. No, you guys put it back in. It had been in originally, right. and then I took it, and then we wanted it out, so it Speak came out. The right, right, then we put it back in. So it's fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay. Number, okay, four, five. Senility is settling, settling in with a few numbers here. Okay. Number, Three. oh, wait a minute. Hang on, though. What I wasn't fine mm -hmm. with, or I wanted to understand, we could delegate authority to a person. And then why would we want to take that out? Where? Where are you talking about? Or on no single member of a body. Or unless we, the body, have delegated authority broadly as part of our annual organizing meeting. So, um, so. Well, it's covered by the previous sentence where it talks about delegated authority. Am I misunderstanding that? Um, well, and, and, and every board It's almost member, redundant. All right, so we just want to make sure that we're clear on, you know, where, where it's, yeah, it's redundant, but, yeah. okay, that's fair. That's um, fair, I can live with that. Okay. Um, any member of the body may request a roll call vote. Where are you? Okay, six. Number six. Yeah. yeah, we found out during COVID, if anybody <clears throat> is on by Zoom, we have to do roll call. All right, yeah. These rules may be amended by majority vote. Wait a minute. You guys took out, I want to understand this one. There's no limit to the number of times a member may speak or make a motion without being recognized by the chair. Are we saying then by striking this that we're going to we're gonna get more, far more formal? Could, I don't know what uh, you mean. Which, could you read again? Uh, there is no I, limit. I think the issue was... This hasn't been an issue. Our chair allows us to speak. Right. Um, so, it's what? It, what's that term everyone uses here? It's a, it's a solution in search of a problem. Yeah. I think that's what we were kind of, we kind of concluded. That's on the old six mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so like I, I think that was like, you know, so what? Maybe, maybe in Danville or Bennington. Uh, that, that's not been an issue here. No, it hasn't been an issue, but that's, to me, why we would put it in, so that when other people see how we work together, it's oh, that I practice. See it's, 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 it's kind of codified. Then. Yeah, the practice is, expect, oh, yeah. The practice is I expected by, uh, okay. by other people who say, well, hang on, how come? Um, or a future chair. Or for a future chair. So we can what is the so the I can't. Yeah, Mark, motions to close or limit debate will not be in the whole thing. Thing in blue. The struck out language in blue. There is no limit to the number of times a member of the body may speak to a question. A member may speak or make a motion without being recognized by the chair. Motions to close or limit debate will not be entertained. I would say that this is this is our practice. I don't at all dispute that. But it's a good one to have in there because John, you said it. Well, why don't we? Why don't we then? Why don't we then say as, as, is our practice? Well, you know, can I? Ask? Yeah, that's stupid to say, but I have to. I don't understand the sentence. Motion to close or limit debate will not be entertained. It 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 means well. What that, is that? I mean. Well, there are people who do that to shut meeting. down discussion at town meeting. Right. Right. Yeah. <coughs> we don't do it here. We don't do it. But Denise, you're not always going to be the chair, and this is establishing the way that we work together by putting it in writing right now. But any board, any board can take these rules and change them just as they see fit. Yeah, they it. can. Sure they can, but... Makes we, it harder. Yeah, it makes it harder. It becomes politically right difficult. Is how we want to work together. Can I... Get to the substance of this for a minute. I've never been on a body that has this rule. That is, if a majority, first of all, if you you have an obstreperous <laughs> member of the board who's <coughs> very, you know, obnoxious and never shuts up, the chair should have the ability to tell them you're not recognized. That's part. We say later the chair has to have an order of the meeting. Right. If the 
chair doesn't have the ability to do it. And, fi and finally, the chair could say, can I have a motion to limit debate? And if a majority of the board votes it, it's over. Right. I don't see, I'm just surprised that you could carry on business in the face of a difficult board member with this. Right, so this cuts that way too. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. So. That's my, my concern, frankly, was that. But I'm... I'm very aware of the new, and I don't want to do so. I don't want to advocate a stupid You don't look decision. so new. And I know. The hell with you. <laughs> I've never... I, look as no old other, as me, man. There's no other board that I serve on that has anything like that. <clears throat> I mean, I can think we can have a chair who's very really tolerant. But I, don't, I don't think... I don't think that... I, I, can, I didn't bring the original VLCT stuff, but I, I don't think I made that up. Oh, you think it came from that? I, I wouldn't have started from scratch because uh, I wouldn't have, you know, that's not, that came out of okay. my brain. I don't have a strong feeling. Except like maybe that. to amend it to, our, to what our practice actually yeah. is. It might have said something in its beginning that was not what we do, and so maybe, I don't remember, I might have revised it to be what we actually do, but mm -hmm. I didn't sit around, like, put right, that right. out there. Mm -hmm. So, um... I'm okay, I guess, with the limit, and I'm okay. We could just strike the last sentence. If that's motion the one to close or limit debate will not be entertained. That's really yeah. I mean, that's hard because at some point you have to. Well, let's strike that one. Get strike to that, that one sentence to the end of the discussion. Keep the part that we value as part of our practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Okay, do you got that? <laughs> Yeah, so that's where we went and struck that one. Okay. Got it? Okay. Um, Thank you. Yeah. I, got it. I pulled this one off the uh, drive, yeah, Google Drive. That's I okay. Stuff, I All right. So this is the one rules of procedure. Can you see that on the TV screen? Yeah, but. Now I can see it here. Okay. But for some reason, it's funny. Okay. Got it? Yeah, but I, mean, I think what I did is... Yeah, it looks like he did. Who was no. here? Did he leave me or just Bruce go Campbell. outside? No, I just saw his truck with that one. I heard he's going to come back. Okay, can we move on? Go on, let's move on. Because we got 20 minutes. The chair shall preserve order. Um, you ready to move to agendas? Yep. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. I like, I, I, I think it's still an opportunity for us to get more specific about times, but we're getting, we're moving in the right direction and yeah, it's, you know, nothing, people say it's only going to take five minutes. It never takes five minutes. Yeah. Because everybody needs to have an opportunity, especially on the board, to weigh in or speak. And that's how it works. We discussed this, just so you know. Right. And I advocated that it was to, Denise made the point she just made, which is you never know. And I advocated that it was a really good planning device for making the person writing the agenda was to go through the mental exercise of thinking how long would it really take. Yeah. Right. And so this was the time. Right. And having a liaison who can beat the thing down to the 10 minutes that right. you negotiated up for the agenda. Yeah. But even doing if it's that, a committee you can still have a people on the board that have questions that they want to ask that aren't, haven't right. been answered by the liaison. Uh, um, okay. Two, the renumbered two. And then it should include a statement of the action. Of the now, I put this my language in brackets because I thought that was a, the sentiment, but I didn't, it wasn't in my notes. Yeah, where's Yeah, the, where's yeah you, the, you translated the ask into. You, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep, that's yeah. fine. Okay, so Katie, take out the brackets and then note the language. Yeah, and then the mm -hmm. clarification. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, point person. Next, that's a number three, Katie, by the way. You're in a Number three, I'm looking for, oh, I see. The brackets get removed. I see. Yeah. End of one, so the brackets on the first bracketed sentence get removed, and the second bracketed sentence gets deleted in total. There you go. Perfecto. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was on the previous one, but yes, this is this is good. These are good, good revisions. Um, <clears throat> four. So you guys, you just added the East Coast spots. Yeah. <laughs> My Did name you see on the uh, yeah, 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 yeah. changes that are reflected. about the posting, which we all know. Uh, just one little tiny thought, guys. We're saying East Callas General Store went open because that's the one that's not open now. Mm -hmm. um, but it could be Maple Corner Store next year that's closed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we want to move? But it's not. Mm -hmm. East yeah. Callas Store right now is not even functional. Right, but if we say, um, well, yeah, right. I'm fine with it. If you say when open, then people are going to think you don't put things up on Sunday. So yeah, but, never mind. Yeah, but, never mind. Just leave it. We could just say when we, operational. We could well, just the say, thing is, is that like, should be in brackets. Well, the, the thing is, right now we used to post it, the notice at the store, but since the store closed, we've been posting at the post office. So the store one doesn't even really need to be in here. We could just say the post. We could just say. They show me post in the clerk's office that, and uh, the post. Why don't we just say? I, I well, just changed it. Say the post office and and uh, the community stores. No, because you have to. You have to. Yeah. Well, well when they, we when we do our annual meeting after March, we pick the posting locations. They currently are the East Cal's post office because the store is closed. Mm -hmm. Maple Corner store. Town clerk's office, website, and front porch form. But we, and this doesn't have website on here, so it should. So why don't I, we reference a single document then on the website that tells those posting places? That way, if it changes, it's, it, we don't have to come back and change. It. I don't think we have it. Well, we let's, probably should. Let's, sorry, let's just, if I, I just put in brackets when reopened. Okay. Open bracket when. Reopen, and if one close of the others, bracket. others closes, we'll figure it out when that time comes. Well, I would think, you know, I would think that posting time, that's something we would actually want on the website and in a prominent place. That way, anyone, you know, interested in that, they would know right where to go. And then we would also only, everything, any, anybody doing town business that would, you know, post that you still do that would, would be... You essentially just reference that one location. That way, I don't know change. where you put it. We'd have to figure out a place to put it on the website. So, so this can be changed yeah. at a future select board meeting okay. easily by yeah, a simple okay. vote. So, yeah. but I this think, is our current practice. Right, Katie? Right. Could you yeah. add website before and front porch form? Add website because we do post it on the website. The town. Town yes, I yeah. <laughs> Web page. <laughs> Yeah, our town website, web page, whatever you want to call it. And I think that's covered in the next sentence as well. The emergency meeting? Now, emergency meetings, you have to do, you can hold the meeting without public announcement, but you have to post an agenda after, which makes no sense. That's just super and we public, hardly right? ever, we hardly ever do that. I, well, type, I typed in the town of Cowes webpage before from Porch Forum. I don't know if it's showing up up there. Yeah. 
There's emergency meetings are clearly for really extenuating yeah. circumstances, you know, right. when you don't have the luxury of time. Right. So. Okay, six. You can change, I don't think. No. Mm -hmm. And seven. Seven. And I don't, I think this is something we went through before. The order of these is different. And maybe you guys talked about it. But what I've seen on other boards that I've been on is that the motion, the ask, is first. Mm -hmm. That's so it's kind of held up as this is where we're headed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so in the clean version, um, that was item three. So there's somebody presenting a, a, a topic, you summarize, you know, maybe sometimes it can be three sentences. You've all seen this, we're looking at blah, blah, blah. Um, I make the motion that somebody seconds, then you have discussion. discussion. And then everybody, that way, you, as I said, that way you know where you're headed. You know exactly, everybody in the board knows what they're going to be asked to vote on. Unless there's an amendment, of course. I, yeah, I, but I not all items are something you vote on. Right. I mean, right. That's, no, but if it, as appropriate, well, right. the question, the, it, we still have request a motion here. It's just further along. So yeah. my, my suggestion is to move request a motion up so it to comes between B and C. Where I should say then between B and C, where should then where, where, where a vote of the board will be required. Yeah. At this point, a motion should be rendered with a second. I think I support that. That's I fine. That's, I mean, that's standard SOP. Or it should be. I don't think we do it, but. I think it's good to get a motion on the floor. Me too. As long as you don't Wouldn't forget what the motion is. Yeah, well, then it's up to the well, chair. The to other, the other we thing. We got Katie. We got Katie. Katie. No, the, other th the other thing it does is, is it forces you to know ahead of time to get clear. How much time do we spend futzing around worsening motions that, you know, one person could have drafted, shoot to Katie an email? Um, anyway, so so in this version, the clean version that was in the folder, it's item C. Yeah, okay. I think you've got it. So, so hey. would that, I mean, I have the question, would we even be voting on something that where there wasn't warned already, correct? I mean, if, it would be warned. Well, then yeah, why not have. just make the motion right up before you have discussion? So that's what we're saying. Where, where a vote of, a. That's what we're saying. Where a vote of the board would be required. He's yeah. even wondering whether it should go top. Top. Uh, yeah, but before I, you do discussion like you would do in no, town meeting. So you got to introduce the person. I want three sentences before I get the emotion. By the way, do you mean when you say presenter, do we mean the presenting board member? It could be, or it could be the person invited to come forward. Yeah, right. Right. It could okay. be a, a motion. It could be motion on whether to <coughs> do a bond issue for the dam. Right. And you might to. say, I, I'm going to... I'm, the liaison or whatever and you come in or you're not a board member maybe you recuse yourself and you come in and um anyway. so is that but then the, again i beg the the good begs the question if we were already warning a vote that's anticipated right i mean so you're really you're there to vote right, right but you're you may not vote, vote but you, but you, you make the you, motion you're making a motion it won't, someone has to make a motion Right, that should happen up front. I think well, you, you have to introduce to... the person and, no, and the topic that you're going to even have the motion on. Yeah, I mean, it right. would be, just... John would just say, um, okay, so the issue here is blah, 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 and uh, here's what's mm -hmm. before the board. And then she says, okay, do I hear a motion? And probably it would yeah, be... Denise would say, well, we need, say, this needs a, vote, a board vote. Yeah, this right. is a monetary no, issue. I'm good with it. I'm just thinking about town meeting protocol. Can we... I mean, you've got, that it's in terms of, we already know. Well, Gus does the introduction, so Denise right. is the Gus. So Gus says, okay, item number 10 on the warning, uh, which discusses whether the, to fund the rehabilitation of the second floor to town hall, do I have a motion? And so he has to introduce. So Gus is the okay, presenter so that's in that the case. Introduction. I'm talking about he's the he's the introduced he's the introducer. Yeah, not, I understand. I misunderstood the whole thing with all the testimony and everything. It's just introducing the subject. Yeah, I got you. Okay, I missed item, item, my, and missed. then the discussion. Can I say? Um, but I I want to point out um, something again that was in the clean. Version.
version. So one of the things we really grappled with back in March is where does the public fit into this? And so in this version we had, um, so now we've got introduce a presenter, invite the presenter to summarize, get the motion, invite each member of the body, then the chair asks questions, sort of does sweep, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Good questions, I don't have any more questions. I have a couple of questions. And then, this is where we built in. No, 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 the, look at D, it says, she, the, the board mm -hmm. members chat oh, it out. And then, the, and then after questions. we get our opportunity. Yeah. Then the public gets. So the idea was to where prevent D, look at D, D. second yes. half of that. Yeah. Okay. Put on your glasses and look at D. Yep. No, it's it's E actually. So um, G. Well, it's bits and pieces. Yeah. So G then would be struck. Where is public testimony? On it the is under D. Invite each member. Blah blah blah. Before allowing members, and seek clarification before allowing members of the public to weigh in and ask. Questions. I think you need a. Well, <laughs> hang on. Need no. a separate section. Okay. Well, no, no, no. We have that. Public then testimony. The, no, so this is just reinforcing that. That, that there's no public here. And then you ask, then the chair asks questions. And okay. then item E, ask if there, the chair asks if there are any questions or comments of the public in attendance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is what okay. we usually do. Okay. Right. Yeah, and okay. then, but, but this is really important for procedure because we often have people just wanting to jump in. Yeah. And this, you know, um, and then. So we can actually get rid of. G. Because we've already made the motion. Well, well but after the public, after yeah, right, the public right, right. speaks and says, call, I listened to you vote. guys for 10 minutes and nobody said blah, blah, then you want to circle back to the board and say, right. so the board can say, oh, she made a really good point. So That's right. So it's the, the board, way of bringing the public comment right, into the, the motion, conversation. The board, public question, comment, Back to the board. Is there any further discussion? So, further so G discussion should be G yes, should be appended yes. to end of C. We could add that sentence mm -hmm. to the end of C after discussion. Um, we got to merge those two, as Denise yeah. suggested. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. But you've already got the motion, so why would you request? No, you the remove motion? the request, but the board member liaison generally makes the motion. It's a clarification. But here. No, 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 no. We already moved that. We already moved. Hang on, I need to well, we got, but the idea is who makes the motion, so uh, that's a different concept. So if we move the board member liaison generally makes the motion. So we say where a motion is requested, we blah, blah, moved, blah. We've already moved that up to that whole section. That whole section has gone up. Should above. go up to. Mm -hmm. Right, so. Um, oh, don't yeah. cut and paste that, Katie. Yeah, Whoops. that all goes up to C. There you go. Didn't, hey, Katie's got it. Yeah, yeah. But then. H should say, invite any further discussion yes. among so, the board. By yeah. the board. Right. Right. Among the board, by right. the board. Right. And right. there are going to be, and then there are times sometimes when we're having that discussion and a member of the public wants to speak, so are we saying we're not going to let them speak again? Well, I think that's up to the discretion of the board. Mm -hmm. My right. feeling generally is, you know, I've talked to you about this, is that if you allow public testimony and you've allowed the board members to ask the public questions, that should then there's got to be a moment when not the board can talk about it right. without right. interruption. Right. right, and that's what we try to do. After we've heard from the public. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Kind of like we did on the horse ordinance. Yeah, right. Right. Whatever. Well, I think here, I mean, you're giving the public comment. And that's typical. Yeah. That was not an aid, that's that exchange. That's a typical town meeting kind of small town exchange in Vermont. Right, right. Yeah. I, I understand that. The, the, there are times when we have permitted members of the public to be very conversational with us, and I think that that, that is appropriate in very discreet circumstances. And in those mm -hmm. circumstances, really are where that person should be sitting right here at the table with us because they have more expertise mm -hmm. than all of us do. If it's just somebody who wants to, you know, keep arguing or yeah. being part of the conversation because it's interesting. Who's admit? Who admits? Well, and, and that's the chair's job, really, to figure that out. Are we in executive session? No. Okay. Um, right, I agree with that. So yes, yeah, so we moved. So so now what we have? Um. um yeah. We're, I 
the board member Katie Ender, item C, the board member liaison. Yeah, okay. Each member yeah, then asks, okay. then the question asks, the chair asks questions, then public, then any further discussion, then a vote. Yep. Okay. Looks good. Works. Um, public participation. Public. All right, so we've got, can we get through this? Six minutes. minutes. We've got five. Uh, yes. Um, Doing really well. Okay, number two. So my dilemma with this, and I'm asking you guys for some help. So you, we start the meeting at seven. Public comment is for 15 minutes. Right. So if there's no public, we don't do it. Then we don't do it, but then if you've got agenda items scheduled for after the 15 minutes, then what do we do? Just sit here for 15 minutes? No. In the clean version that's in the folder, I, I think we talked about it and I wordsmithed this. So the first sentence says, as, we, as we're seeing, at each meeting there will be blah, blah, blah for a future meeting. To account for the possibility that there will be no public comment or that the entire allotted 15 minutes will not be used, the agenda will include the following note to allow the agenda to move forward expeditiously. Agenda items may be taken up earlier than noted if the 15 minutes set aside for public comment is not used or if other items are completed, completed more quickly than anticipated. Right, and at the top of the agenda, for years it has said, please yep. note, except for the start right. time, yeah. it's always said that. Well, but this is more clear that we're going to generally take it in order, and mm -hmm. so I can I can shoot um, if that sounded good to you guys. I can shoot that to Katie, and Katie we can add that, or I can hand it to John and he can just type it in um, in a couple of minutes. We're almost done here. I like that. Um, but that note to exactly we do talk about that, and and mm -hmm. we I had some notes and. Okay, it's fine with me. In one of my, um, it's, in it's my, what we do, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but the, right, Denise, that solves the problem of um, right. the 15 minutes. Because you shouldn't have to just sit around. No, we don't want to sit around. We don't want to sit around. No. And it's not just the 15 minutes. Other items might move along more quickly, so we want people to know things could get moved, moved up. It's different than a shuffle. Um, yeah. Okay, okay so I will send you that. Send like, yep, Kate, I will send Kate, that. Yeah. Sentence, okay. those two sentences, three, two or three sentences okay. to Kate. Yep. Comment. Three. No, we, I mean, and I think I, answer, I did respond to your question, Mark. <clears throat> if it's something that's come up and we realize that it's something that needs to go on the agenda because we need to take action, we can't take action on an item that hasn't been, no, right. hasn't been worn. Right. right. I know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where did right, you, so you mean you're talking about and you say members of the board shall consider and make decisions on the matter Where right. are where oh, okay. yeah, number four, and that's not right. That's we it would have to like maybe acknowledged by the chairman we're speaking after something. Oh Right, you're right. No, you're absolutely right. That was a mistake. Yeah, okay. Uh, isn't to me this section should be more kind of focusing itself on that the 15 minutes Oh, this, yeah, I, I know what it was. I thought this is, this wasn't about the 15 minutes. This is just the fact that you can't have members of the public so popping we, up. This is a sort of how the meeting is run. So we did, so we did spend some time on this back in end of March, and what's in the clean version, um, Um, I, I, in this version, I move things around a little bit and try to crisp them up so that it is not inconsistent and largely not repetitive, but bolsters the other section and creates space for the 15 minutes. Um, I don't know if we want to... What does it say? Well, it's, um, it's just kind of, it's kind of different. Um, it sets out, it just lays out differently. So item two, we just went through, um... Item three, the way that we talked about it a while ago, the board will entertain public comment on agenda items, but the board retains the authority to impose a time limit on public comment. 
The chair will not acknowledge or invite comment from members of the public on agenda items until all members of the board have completed their comments and questions on an item. Uh, so here's one of the things that we talked about. We talked about the fact that we've mentioned the public in the earlier section while we're kind of going through the, the, the procedures of the of discussion. Right. At the same time, we've got this section called par public participation, right. which is what people will read. Right. And so we wanted the two sections to fit together really cleanly and not be inconsistent. So if people only read this section, I'll read it again. The board will entertain public comment on agenda items, but the board retains authority to impose a time limit on public comment. The chair will not acknowledge, and this is what we just said, chair will not acknowledge or invite comment from members of the public on agenda items until all members of the board have completed their comments and questions on an item. So that just bolsters in this section mm -hmm. so that if this is all pe people read, they see the exact same thing they're going right. to experience mm -hmm. in the earlier section. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> that's item three. How does that sound? Yeah. Okay. Works for you. Works okay, yeah. it's seven o'clock. Right. So it's four. It replaces four, right? Um, it actually replaces three, and then in four, what I had left after our last discussion at all times, members of the public must be acknowledged by the chair before speaking, which is what this says. And at all times, comments by the public or members of the body must be addressed to the board and not to any individual member of the body or public. Yeah. Um, which may or may not be what was said here. I'll just keep going. And if you guys, if there's we're any, gonna we're gonna have to go into right. a regular meeting. No, I know. If a member of the public has already spoken on top, so this is the same. So I think the big differences are in those two sections. I think you should just shoot that language to Katie, and, Katie and we'll finish yeah. this up. Yeah, yeah, and then we can take this up. Again. We're getting there. So yeah. we're almost there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna have to. Go into our regular meeting. See if I can do this. Okay. Did you get most of that, Katie? Damn, George, I saw it done. Um, I think Katie. so. Um, I'll I'll save this. I'll duplicate the document and tidy it up so we can look back right. at it too, okay. and then I'll let you all know it's done. She's going to send you. Thank you. You're going to get comments. You're going to get more language from sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so um, we have several people joining us. Um, so I just want to call, we called the meeting to order at six and just want to remind folks on Zoom that if you could not, if, if you want to speak, raise your hand thing under the reactions because if we're sharing documents, we can't see everybody that might be raising their hand in person. And also that if you're on the meeting, if you could mute yourself or turn your camera off if you're not interested in the topic we're discussing because what happens is people get to moving around, eating their supper, things like that, and it's very distracting to other people. So if we could just have those couple of Nice little ground rules that'd be really helpful. Um, are there come are there public comments or items not on the agenda? Denise, I have an agenda item that comes much later in the meeting that it will take me thirty seconds to report on, and I see people who who are likely here for that. There's only there's only one person here. For right. Uh, only one, but. What my thought is, I can share my 30 seconds now and again later. Um, when Lori, Lori signed on ages ago. Recording in progress. Before you, uh oh, somebody's got. That's me. It's me. I guess it's not working. What are you doing? I'm so you're thinking she's just sitting here and go. she'll come in later. Yeah, that's, okay. we talked to her about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, Cliff. You had your, Cliff and Winnie. I have a copy coming too. Take it away. Greetings. Hey, Cliff. Yeah, I have uh, something to do with the select board that is not on the agenda. Uh, coming in compliments of the friends. Some very exciting news to share. About it. Um, I am very happy to report that the friends and the town of Callis are the benefactors of a baby grand baldwin piano that has been donated compliments of mara brooks 
Amazing. Of who? Mara Brooks. Donated it. I don't know her, but wow. she deserves to have her She writes for the Hardwick Gazette and she covers uh, Callis and East Callis. And she was aware of the work that was done on the town hall. And um, she's she in the process of downsizing. She hopes to actually move to Callis someday. And she's in the process of downsizing. And she thought she would like to find uh, a civic organization that she could donate the piano to. And uh, the town of Callis and the friends of the town hall were her first choice. So, so where would you store that? that? That that should be in a heated space. We have it downstairs where we're meeting we'll, tonight. We'll actually arrange to put it upstairs. It can be stored upstairs, even though it's not heated. Um, it will be okay. Uh, we will locate it uh, so that it's not affected adversely by an exterior wall. And um, you know, we can move it around in the space as need be to accommodate various activities and whatnot that goes on there. Uh, doesn't doesn't the upstairs get like Zero degrees. So this is in totally keeping in the spirit of the hall. Um, my connection's intermittent. I might have cut out on you. I hopefully my connection's restored now. Um, we will be meeting with a, a piano mover on the 23rd to discuss the uh, installation and placement of the piano within the upstairs. They'll bring it in through the, the front doors, through the steps at the front there, right off the road. And uh, the friends will be on site to ensure that uh, they're following the proper protocols and no damage is incurred in the process of moving the piano into the upper floor. Okay, the couple of board members have questions. I think Sharon was first and then John. Mm -hmm. um, this is really exciting. And Cliff, I know the friends have a bunch of music people, but um, I'm, I'm a piano person, so I can't stop myself. Um, a couple of things to think about. Um, one is having, um, you know, a cover, like a tarp, yes. one of those insulated things. And then the other thing is a climate control. Um, pianos, there are climate control mechanisms that you can buy and install that will... Heater. Yep, yeah, you are that, you under, you know what I'm talking yeah, so Katie, for the minutes, maintain um, maintain the proper humidity and temperature for the piano across seasons. Yes, um, we're definitely aware of these considerations. Uh, June Morse is also uh, involved in this process and advising us accordingly. And as you noted, Sharon, we do have some music people on the Friends group. Uh, but yeah, I remember years and years ago when I was living in the Rocky Mountain region of Utah, and we had a piano in an area that wasn't heated. We had to do similar considerations. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly enough, it was an old church that uh, my family had purchased and was converting into a, a municipal building. <laughs> so very similar set of circumstances. Yeah, and, and my question was along those lines because my understanding is a piano that it's not good for a piano for it to be swinging from you know zero degrees to 80 degrees and yeah, back and forth. Yeah, especially if it's an extreme change. If it's a gradual change, it's one thing. Yeah. If it's extreme change, that's really problematic. Right. Temperature right. and humidity. So, so, and, and so my question, you know, I, I always have a down the road considerations when I ask these questions. So. Mike, first off, thank you for the piano, and this is wonderful news, but I just want to make sure that after we put the piano up there, we don't get a letter that we need to find a way to heat that building, keep it at 45 degrees year round, and that wasn't budgeted or considered as part of accepting the piano. Um, because my sense is, I'll, I'll just tell you right now, I have a small little Baldwin spinet, Alcrisonic. It's like the generic Baldwin. I wouldn't leave that at zero degrees in Vermont because the, there are things that happen, uh, like Sharon made mention, that it's not only temperature, it's humidity. And when things get that cold in Vermont, there's no humidity, zero humidity in the air. And the uh, soundboard is, is typically <coughs> wooden and there are drilled holes. I've tuned pianos, I tuned my own. Uh, they're wooden, 
it's a wooden soundboard with pegs and those crack from dryness and temperature shifts and you, once you get a crack in the soundboard it's pretty much it's either a major repair or you get rid of it so you can the pegs will not hold their tune so um, just FYI I, I, I just wouldn't I, I personally think it should be stored down here until we get the upstairs insulated, my personal feeling. Cliff, you feel like you guys are on it. But, but as long as Cliff's gonna tell you us understand that, that. okay. Yeah, you guys got it under control? We got it under control, and if the determination is made that it's better to put it downstairs, then uh, with the blessing of the select board, that's exactly what we would do. Okay. That's what it yeah. takes to properly maintain it. Okay, yeah. sounds so, good. Based yeah, upon what I'm hearing, do we have that option? Should we determine that's yes. necessary? Yes, yes, I think I think yes. that you yes. should. I think you should do that in the first instance. I think right here where we're sitting would be the best place. Um, well, frankly, well, you want it in a corner because that right. takes it's a big animal. Yeah. Uh, Can we get it in here? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Baby grands are not that hard to move. They're, they're easier to move than uprights because take you take the legs off and you stand them up and yeah. so you they have got a special just a question. Because yeah. you moved it, but oh well. Wow. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then it's a lot simpler. Then it's you got the heater for the summer that keeps the humidity down, from, keeps it from swelling too much. And in the winter, you put it. You have the humidifier. So I, I, my personal feeling is you should put it here, right where we're sitting. And um, move it. And, move it if and it's, it's on wheels. Somebody probably. hires out the place for a wedding. Well, they they can the pay to move it. Yeah, they can move it, it. Can move yeah, it. Can move it in the summer. Right. And, and I don't know if Cliff is aware of this, but he might enjoy this. Um, Years, years, and years back, the, the folks used to own the house that we ha live in now, the lifts, Sid Lift, um, in the wintertime would, as did many people in the Callis, East Montpelier area, Adamant surrounds, would accept uh, pianos in their homes to protect them because the Adamant Music School shuts down all the heat and drains the pipes and all that jazz. All right. And so they brought all the pianos into Different locals' people. homes and then so that was a biannual moving event oh. in and out to protect those pianos um so really? anyway I'm sorry, those days, I buy one. yeah yeah i think you're okay. glad so i think glad you, so you i think to do that. I like yeah so i think you got the word that if we need that put, maybe put it down here because there isn't any heat and whatnot upstairs well, it's okay. Really, yeah. it's yeah. okay. It's they, okay. Should, they should do what they decide to need. Yeah, I just think they're going to ruin it. But. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take every precaution. It's obviously uh, a big uh, value for the town. We will need to look into making sure our insurance policy that the town has would cover it in the event something does happen to the piano. And obviously, any insurance policy that the friends uh, incurs uh, for third-party non-municipal events will have to cover it as well. Yeah. Okay, and, that sounds great. And I know Mara, so I've, I've thanked her myself for the donation, so that's great. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So uh, just so everyone's, I think I said this, but in case I didn't, just to reiterate, um, the September 23rd uh, looks like the day that the panel will be moving into the building. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah. if you need to change, I will advise the board accordingly. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, Cliff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, enjoy your internet before I go. Any questions on any of that? No, it seems to be holding up okay. Yeah. Thank you for all the work you did to get things <clears throat> fixed. It seems and pretty speedy. Is it correct that it's faster than it was pro previously? It is. The, the new modem is capable of processing at approximately twice the speed of the old modem. That's not to say that we have more bandwidth, it mm -hmm. just takes better advantage of the bandwidth that we have. Great, and thank you. I know you spent uh, countless hours on it, so thank you very much. Thanks, Cliff. Thanks, Cliff. Oh, you're welcome. Glad to be of service, and uh, you know where to find me if you need me. Yeah. Okay. In the upstairs apartment, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, is there any yeah, other? I'll be curled up next to the baby grant. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Is there any other public right, comments? Take care, all. Have a great meeting. Thank you. I think I, I got a comment from Maureen. I think she's probably on here. You know, and I haven't gotten to talk to her yet. There was a message my wife took. 
about speed limits on county, county road. road. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, I got calls too. Yeah, okay. I've been reading up on how we go through that process. It's not yeah. just like you just no, do it. No, it's 80 foot percentile. Yeah, yeah. We, we've got to look at the statistics. I know <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been on our future agenda list mm -hmm. for a while. Um, so I've been reading up on it and yeah. Yeah, it's okay, definitely worth agenda. Yeah. It's worth discussion. It jumps up and down along that corridor because of Maple Corners and then right. East Montpelier. So there's, you know, it's definitely worth discussion about. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, the warrants are circulating somewhere in a big yellow folder. <clears throat> Languishing, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and you might all have noticed that the town hall oh, no. outside has been washed. Car. I Sorry. noticed it was really bright. Yeah. I actually did notice. Yeah, it looks really nice. And it's nice to have it done now because yeah. Grady's going to come. Cliff is playing telephone tag with Grady. They are the one who painted the exterior of the building initially. Um, so he's playing telephone tag with him. And he's going to fit us in before the season. You don't sign that one. Sign. Right. Yeah. Um, to get the paint chips and stuff fixed on the exterior of the building. So it was good to get it washed before that happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready to move on? Okay, road commissioner. Do you want to... I guess you're okay right I guess you're pretty close there. Let's see if we needed to make any more... Okay. What are you grumbling and mumbling about? Hmm. Okay, so um, I put out the agenda to, you can come close your office to Gabriel. Did you guys have something you wanted to say? No, nope, it's a secret. Something. Can't tell you. We'd have to kill you. Okay. Okay. Consider a reappointment of road commissioner. That's a personnel matter. Do we just do it with the road commissioner just sitting there? That's the way we've typically done it. It seems like it just happened. So is there any... Well, usually I think it's effective. It's July, July 1st, technically. Um, didn't we do that? No, we we, well, we didn't do it in July. No. No, no, we did it in the spring, and knowing that it would, it's we do each year in July. We did a performance appraisal mm -hmm. in June or July, and we talked about a number of changes, which I can still those those can still happen. Right. I mean, we haven't met about those again. I think that's kind of my like oh. Um, unless, unless, unless you guys talked about it at the last meeting, but I don't think it's like that you did. Um, and we haven't had a chance to hear from Alfred what his thoughts are on all of, of that. I, well, I, like I said, I think we still can. We just need to schedule a time when the full board's available and Alfred's available to rediscuss or further discuss the evaluation. Right. But that doesn't prevent us from making the appointment, reappointment. Right. Right. Yeah. Do well, I understand this is something that normally is supposed to happen at the beginning of the fiscal year? Yes. 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 And it just didn't. Right. So he's been doing the thing. No. He's no, been volunteering. He's been volunteering. No, no, God, don't even say that, you guys. There's so much yes. confusion about that. <laughs> no, what, Alfred is the road commissioner until, unless or until he isn't the road commissioner for right. whatever variety of reasons. However, it is important that we have a check-in where we say, yes, you're still the road commissioner so everybody knows, but also because... That's our, we were talking earlier about when you check in, when you say how are things going. And, and so, yeah. The, the changes are still really important to us and that's the only thing I would want lost in, in a reappointment process. 
I mean, I know what you're saying. That I don't want to have lost in the reappointment process. Right. The changes that we talked about. Oh, right. Changes right. The pieces that we're working well, I was going to see when the at the end of the meeting when we're talking about future agendas, when we could schedule a time to re-meet with Alfred in executive session right. to to further discuss the evaluation. So there's two clarify my right here. What's what's on the agenda is to do the point for one year until July of next year. Right, that's the way it's mm -hmm. always until a year. Until June of next year, Alfred is roasting. Yep. Okay. Thank you. The, another issue is we have to complete his annual evaluation process with the meeting with him. Excuse me for talking about you. Okay. Um, Alfred likes it better when he's here for talking about it. Okay. <laughs> Do you? Right. Are you sure? <laughs> okay. Third, one of the things we talked about is what do we want, how do we want to structure the whole issue of road mm -hmm. in the future? Do we want a public works director right. and, that's and, a public, and a road commissioner? What do we want? Right. That's a different issue that's a different right. that's that we have to talk about too. Right. right? That's a different discussion. It, I think it, it loops into our discussion with Alfred in executive session. Okay. I, I don't have any strong feelings. So, that. you know, consistent with the policy that's still in draft, but nevertheless is what we want to follow, uh, I would move to reappoint Alfred Larrabee as road commissioner, and I'm looking for a second, and we can have discussion. I'll well, second. Okay. Good job, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So I think we've sort of did it a little backwards, but I think the discussion no, was there looking. with what yeah. the process will be, is there's a motion on the floor to reappoint Alfred as road commissioner. We discussed setting a time and a date to meet with Alfred in executive session to further review the evaluation and also to talk about fine tuning it. Fine tuning mm -hmm. it. I guess that's the right word. Yeah. Yeah. Fine tuning the, the evaluation oh. after yeah. input from all sides. Yeah. And then we can talk about Mark's other point that probably wouldn't be an executive session. No, of course. Right. That, that's a bigger yeah. So that's a whole that's a public. Yeah, it's a whole yeah. public thing. So that wouldn't be an executive session. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So the, there's a motion and a second. Any further questions, comments, Alfred? Alfred, have you had a chance to read the? Yes. And so you're you're ready at any time for discussion. discussion. Yeah, I I would take some more time and make some comments on it before right. I come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we'll give you enough this notice. This is your last chance to decline. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so no, I, I, I think can, we should I have a vote, but I, I think we should, <laughs> <laughs> no, we should schedule it. No, we should schedule it. You are a vote commissioner forever. <laughs> so we say, I got the ball and chain in my car. I forgot to bring it in. Oh, OK. All right, you ready to vote? All those yeah. in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Um, Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Al. Carmichael. But hang on, can we, oh, well, before Alfred goes, we should set that next meeting. The, okay. the meeting to move this conversation forward. Okay. Um, so we want to get, while we get Alfred here, update some highway stuff? Well, that's what Denise Oh, that's what all this is. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I think slow, process slow, sorry, Denise. Just got okay. here to try to get rid of me already. Yeah, I, I misunderstood. Carmichael curb cut. I remember to bring the form this time. So, Alfred, do you have <coughs> met with on site the folks requesting the curb cut uh, no, on Bliss Road? Not this one. I, I was, when I emailed you, I was I meant the right of way. Oh, because I asked you if you had done this one too. I've looked at it, but I hadn't, oh. I hadn't met with those in person. I met with the right of way people. Okay, so then we're not going to be able to do this one. Well, yes. Yeah, we can still you, do it. He's looked at it. Okay. He's looked at okay. it. I've them what measurements need to be. Okay. I will say I'm a little disappointed that the work is already done. What? Driveway's already in. It's, it's in. It's all gravel. Mm -hmm. We can deny it if it were inappropriate. Right. So but we shouldn't do it. The good news is that it's, it's done properly. And there's, yeah. no, there's no site Who distance put issues. It in? There's no... This is the Carmichael one? Yeah. yeah, I wonder, did they have a company put it in? No, or they, they did it themselves. They got a tractor there and brought it in. Okay. Yeah. 
probably hire somebody to bring a truckload of material. Well, you know, they do that at their own peril. You know, if, if the road commission decided that's the wrong location, it gets ripped out. If the culvert's not rightly sized, it gets ripped out. I well, it's, incidentally, it's all, I mean, it doesn't need a, need a culvert. Sight distance is fine. It's all good. It's just a little yep. bit But none of that is their call. They did it without. No, I agree. Call. I would want to have them come to a meeting where we get to say, do not do that. Do not do that. That is not okay. It turns out you're fine, but, but. Well, they received a copy of the agenda. I emailed it to them. They live in Shelburne. We could delay the mm -hmm. approval yeah. until they come and talk to us over Zoom about what's going on yeah. here. Yeah, I mean, it's feel it's you don't just put in No, I'm not there. saying it that in that way. I'm, I'm just no, she didn't where say they she live. said that. You said no, that. No, it's not where they live. No, right. All, all she I'm saying talking. is that I would expect that, that folks who live in a municipality with the structure Southern has would, would not just do this. But well, they yeah, need to have those that were Yahoo's. Mm -hmm. Don't even say that out loud. We're not. I just, I just, oh, yeah. You know, they can just. Majority. So, yeah, I was going to take action. So let's put in the minutes that we're going to delay this until the Carmichaels are available here, to uh, here. to a, attend um, a board meeting, but they could do it by Zoom or in person. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it just sort of sets a presence. I mean, they can right. yeah. explain. They can go start building okay. a house without a building permit. Right. Mm -hmm. well, like, it's the same idea. Same thing. Same Explain thing. why they did this without a permit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Frankly, yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. okay. So who, who will invite them to the next meeting? How do we do that? I can send them an email okay. when I get the minutes and say this is yeah. This was not okay. This is not the it's process. Appropriate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Dan George, and I see Dan's on Zoom. Hi, Dan. Dan is Are you there? He will be. Hello? Oh, there you are. We're here. Do you want to, um, oh, there you are. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you for following the process and <laughs> yeah, your yeah, application. Sure. <laughs> um, Alfred, you've been on, I know, yeah. I know where the project is and I've, I've driven by. So it does need, looks like it needs repair. Um, you want to give us an update from your perspective, Alfred? Uh, well, it's, it's clear that the wall has failed. Uh, it needs to be replaced, and it, it is in our right way. Um, they have replaced the wall in prior years. Um, that was not in the right of way. It was outside the right of way, so they didn't need a permit for that. Mm -hmm. And the way it was handled was satisfactory to me and I trust that they'll do the same. I have talked to the contractor uh, that is going to be doing it and he seemed to be very easy to get along with and willing to do what it takes. Uh, they need to have signs up and... Signage while, uh, while during, doing construction. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And when you say, when you say it was done properly, you just, you were saying that the last time they did it, everything was followed and you're trusting that they the same level of integrity of the structure or whatever. Yes. Yeah. So is this, so the piece they're working on now is in the town driveway, the piece they worked on before it was not? It was not, that's correct. Okay. And is there a height? Four feet. Mm -hmm. Four foot high, four twelve feet, feet, high, feet, high, feet, high, feet high. Twelve feet to the center of the road. To Do those forty-five feet long? Mm -hmm. Forty-five feet long, and that works. Yeah, I, yeah they're going to put it right, pretty much in the existing location that it is now. Um, it's a dry, laid-up wall that's failing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they will have to put drainage behind it and they will run it to one of our culverts and so it drains through. Okay, so then we that's want to say standard. that then. That's standard. Well, I mean, it's, it goes without saying. I mean, if you build a wall, you're going to drain it. So and appropriate. And it's not going to affect our culvert at all. Just. So appropriate drainage. And that is to the town culvert? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't hurt to 
make it clear. Sure. Mm -hmm. right. Anything else? Uh, no, just you know, make sure traffic can flow through safely as the construction <laughs> and, and process. Yeah. Okay. Now, this. Do you know what town highway number that is? Uh, I don't. It's on a map. Okay, but that is Nelson. number ten pond, right? No, it's Nelson that, pond. That would be Nelson Pond Road. Nelson pond Road. Yeah, yeah. three thirty-seven Nelson Pond Road. Okay, so Dan, did you have anything you wanted to add or ask? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, you want a motion, Madam Chair? Yes. Move the <clears throat> approval of the retaining wall subject to what conditions? To um, signage during construction, appropriate drainage to the town culvert. Anything else? Uh, um, just safe, safe travel of the traveling public. Safe and arrangements and uh, assuring safe traveling of, traveling of the traveling public. The sure safety of the travel of the public. Well, uh, sure safety of the travel of the public. Anything else? So moved that way. Okay. And second. I'll second the motion. And, and before we vote, I'd just like to make clear that, you know, as a member of this board, I'm generally uh, more in uh, favor of building bridges than walls, but in this case, I'll support this. Oh, you're this. just full <laughs> of it tonight. You are full of it tonight. I am full of it. <laughs> Okay, are you ready to vote? Well, what, Dan? What's that, Dan? I said if we have a bridge, we'll let you know. <laughs> okay. And as long as it's not a bridge to nowhere. It'd be a why style we, over here. Why do we build the wall? <laughs> okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, I will pass this around for <clears throat> signing, and I'll need to get that town highway number from you, and I can fill out the rest. Madam Chair, you have someone who wants to be admitted. Jessica Louise. Oh, okay. Thank you, Katie. All right, I'll pass this around. <clears throat> That's All right. Her. Next up. Um, so, so, so we, we have one question. Can we pick this up at the town clerk then? I'll, when, when it's all signed and I have the top piece filled in, I'll email it to you and I will drop it at the town office because they need the original for recording. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Mark. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's approved now. Mark. You just don't have the. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Somebody have a pen. Yeah. Oh. You walk out. He's a pen thief. Oh well, I might not ever see it. That's right. Uh, uh. Okay. Um, what's going on with the hiring? Um, not much. Sadly to say, um, I've been negotiating with Ed Rowell some, trying to figure out best way to get him back on board full time. Mm -hmm. um, he's willing to come for full time, um, but we're not sure about how that will affect his retirement. Right. And Remember, we were going to check in about whether he was a contract employee or. Yeah, I talked to I talked to Sandra as I was okay. supposed to do, and she was. She suggested that one Ed make an appointment with the Social Security office. Well, that's covered. Social Security is fine. He's it's, he's it's already state retirement. Found out that he is eligible to make as much money right as he wants due to his right. age. And then also to schedule it's, a meeting with Beamers. Right, Beamers is the one that's in question. Right. Whether he can stop drawing and start contributing or or not. That's that's the question. So 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 and as I said in the last meeting, because I I've seen this across state government, it's it's pretty common for state employees to retire, just like municipal employees, the same stand, set of standards. They retire and then you see them in the office the next Monday. And when they come back, they are private contractors hired by the state. 
and then it doesn't affect because they're not an employee, a matriculating employee, whatever you call it, full-time employee. So that's what I had hoped that you know we we could figure that out and just confirm that that's allowable under the municipal employees retirement plan. So um, that would be the question to ask yeah, gamers: Is can if, he come if back Ed as a Rowell contract employee? were to come back not as an employee but as a contractor to the town but mm -hmm. performing largely the same role um, roles um, would that be in any way con conflict conflict or cause some issues and I expect they'll say no because this is going on there's probably a hundred state employees doing this right yeah. now yeah, I know. and I'm yeah. guessing municipal employees too so, so the question to be asked for Ed to ask Beamers is can he come back as a crime Contracted as a contractor to the town yeah. of Callis, contracted to do road work on a full time right. basis. No, I'll, I'll remember it. Okay. Uh, Not as an employee. Right. Well, some of the issue has been that he wasn't totally committed. He doesn't really want to come back full time. Right. Mm -hmm. He wants to be our part time right. guy and just right. two more days. Really a contractor. Then maybe you just he, leave it as it is. But he's so loyal to the town, he doesn't want to leave us short-handed, so that's right. why he's coming in every day. Uh, the other issue that we need to be thinking about is, right now, he's acting like a full-time position. And with no benefits, with like no vacation, benefits, no vacation, no, no sick. Vacation, mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. He's got health insurance. If he's part-time, isn't there a limit for how many hours a part-timer can work? If he's an employee, if he's a contractor, there's no, no. No, no, I'm just saying, like, right now. So I'm just thinking the pressure's uh, on to get the contractor idea implemented or whatever is going to happen. Because right now he's working 40 hours. Right. So that right. that says full time. Right, so that entitles him, what, well, I think what you're saying, so that entitles him to benefits because he's more than, you know, he's 20, 40 Hours right, right. and so and the benefits we're thinking about is leave time benefits. Do we're not we, talking about health insurance because he's already got health insurance under the retirement plan. If we had a contracted arrangement with them, we could include yeah. paid some leave. paid yep. leave. Yep. Yeah. Is this sick and absolutely vacation? Right. Do we know what we need to know because of your expertise and your expertise, or do we need legal advice? I yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with Mark. Yeah. I mean, I'm hearing you guys, I'm hearing us talk about somebody being a contractor versus an employee for the mm -hmm. exact same job, and all of the tests I'm aware right. of, we might, we might fail. Well, the state so, does this, so maybe they're violating the law, too. Why don't we, so... The state is different. But there's probably rules well, we're in the about right how there. many hours you can work. Yeah. I mean, we're, we provide the tools... And we, I mean, this whole yeah, time, but, all I know is that, that the IRS has strong feelings. Right, well, on this right, but they're, but they're the more to do with workers' comp and whether the employer pays workers' comp. That's been the issue, not whether. So you can have someone well, as a contractor, but if they're working as a contractor 50 hours a week for you, well, then they, their role is essentially the same, same as an employee. So then yeah, our responsibility is to pay workers' so comp. And FICA. I have a and FICA. Okay, I have a yeah. suggestion. That's right. I have a suggestion. Let's pick a date when we're going to meet with Alfred to talk about his evaluation. And on the same, at the same time, because I think this could mm -hmm. be discussed as a, in executive session as well, as a personnel issue, and have Jim yeah. on Zoom. And he'll have done the research in yeah, advance. Right. Someone's Absolutely. got to alert Jim. So yeah. I'll contact Jim and say, this is the situation. Let's pick a date when we can have yeah. a discussion with Jim on Zoom, and he'll have done research mm -hmm. ahead of time. You know, and I'm willing to check in with just the, the state parallel. I, I, mm -hmm. I've been beaten to death here. Um, I'm willing to check in with somebody if I can reach them at D8 Department of Human Resources to see how they navigate that maybe there's a contract that we could right borrow so to reinvent the wheel but there's laws that don't apply to the state state has to pay federal social security fica well and this is state has to pay workers but, comp but, but isn't wage, this wage an hour overtime this is wage an hour overtime they have to pay that too depending on the type of job they have but, to pay it on high, highway employees have to pay they have to pay time and a half has to do with whether a blue collar basically or a white collar state. I think as long as the city attorney, excuse me, the town attorney is 
notified of what the issue is. Right. Mm -hmm. And to be there. And I just think that it would be nice to sew it up quickly so that they yeah. can sew yeah. it up with him. And, yeah. Well, we want to be fair with him, too. We don't want right. him to lose anything in this No, thing, no, no. So, that no. was the whole point yeah, of we, suggesting he talk to Veeam or suggesting he talk to Social Security. Yeah. yeah. And we can't tell him he has to, but those are recommendations. Right. And then if we get Jim involved to check out the laws, yeah. what this would mean and yeah. how we have to follow the, the law. Right. Is this something where one of us can be the liaison? I don't know whether it's you because of roads or you because of your expertise. Or one person can well, be the Rick liaison can and work check. this out. I'm willing to check in with DHR on it. Well, I'm willing, well I'm willing to contact Jim. Yeah. And then, we, and then, and then, that, and yeah, then okay. coordinate maybe with John. Yeah. That, is that all right? Yeah. Do you want to do that piece? I'm yeah. glad to help how you ever I can. Well, I think you know I have a personnel history or, of personnel and. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's we're getting into. So. All right. So let's do that. So let's. While we're talking about a meeting, and then we have one more road thing to talk about with Alfred. Um, everybody got a calendar? There's next Monday. I'm out of town next week. Okay. John, what's your availability next week? Uh, what On Monday. Do, uh, what's the date next Monday? The 20th. The 20th. I believe I'm available Monday. What, what's going on? We're talking about. want to do a special this? meeting to talk about okay. these two issues. At yeah, what time? What time oh, works? Seven. I'll be back in the evening. Yeah. Seven. Yes, yeah, seven. I don't like six. I'm okay. still chewing still my egg. Then. My eggs are still chewing. Shovel that I'm. Okay, seven. It will work for me. Seven. Okay, seven o'clock next Monday. Special meeting for those two items. Mm -hmm. All right. Work for you. We'll have to. Okay. Um, because I want to get this done quick. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, the other piece of this is, you know, if we do settle with that, we still are looking for another full time. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Hopefully a, a part time person. Right. Right. To do also. One. Right. Because we want to have some time off for the guys. Yeah. yeah. So, what suggestions are there for trying to get more people interested? I'm getting up. I mean, the ads are out. There's but nobody's getting anything. Nobody. Yeah, that's right. I've, I've talked. To, I've talked to other towns that are looking for road crew people. Yeah. Nothing. No, it's, 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 it's happening across all the contractor bases. It's yeah, it's everywhere. everywhere. It's, a, it's we, not just yeah. It's, no, it's not no, just it's, it's not just road yeah, crew people. It's like cyber, all of our contractors. Are yeah. yeah. It's it's crazy. Adam Lane well, said I, tractor I supply here, can't find people. Also, yeah. I just wonder if there's I don't know something more we can do. We could pay two hundred thousand a year, and I'm sure they'd flock. But no. I don't think that's an option. Well, yeah, but, no. I mean, there's other companies that are offering a sign-on bonus. Yeah, they mm -hmm. do. Might, a lot of might, I don't know. It might generate something. Yeah. They might. If we were if we were going to do something like that, I would want I would want us to you know say it out loud again after one you know brainstorming sign-on bonus because we need to be. Make sure that the, the town hears loud and clear that we're yeah. grappling with issues right. around hiring. And we've said this before: um, how we solve these issues, we might have to get creative in other ways, right? I mean, and it, it there might be a point where you don't we don't have the crew to to meet expectations. And so, what does that mean? And how do we how do we service? Could we share a part time? Is if we is Woodbury or East Montpelier looking for? A part-time person as well that we could share somebody, so it would be, you know, more hours for a part-time person. Maybe. What's well, it's not about the hours. We 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 would take that part-time person full time, but there's no person. That's not the issue. No, but there might be somebody who wants to do like a weekend <coughs> when they're looking for a weekend off, and maybe East Montpelier. So I'm just trying to think outside well, the think, box. I think all towns are looking for a spare. I mean, yeah. As far as I know, this month player don't have a spare right now. And this Billy who's doing stuff, he's not got his CDL and wants to be a spare, right? Oh, yeah, he is very much qualified, but he huh. so much pays him so much money. Oh, right, right. We should. He's, he's like 50 grand. We don't want to use names when they're employed by someone else. Right. Yeah.
um, you don't want to use names when they're employed yeah, by us for where they work. Yeah. Right, right, right. They get in trouble with their employer. Alfred, I would ask you to, I, I, I love that you're bringing this to us and that you're, you know, brainstorming, but I would ask you to add a, a, a branch of your brainstorming that is contingency planning, right? Contingency planning around we don't get the staff. What does it look like? What doesn't get done? What doesn't, what get, done? Get, done? What doesn't get done? What doesn't what doesn't get done? Because we might be in the position of having to, you know, roll up our sleeves and say, this is what plowing looks like, folks. And how do we, we can't and message that and support you in implementing it. Right. And put it out there before winter so that exactly. people have a heads up exactly. that we're having trouble just and it's not just callous. I don't want no. people to get it's not just roads. Just I mean, there's signs right. everywhere. Now yes. hiring, now hiring. I mean, there's places it's I've true. gone to that have closed early because they don't have staff. Oh yeah, all you know, it's all over. Right. So yeah. So so don't assume that we're gonna we're gonna do or that we could even do whatever it takes to get the people we need. And what does it look like when we don't have the people we need? How do we how do we do the best job we can with the resources that we have and how do we help people understand this is this is what it looks like right now? Can you come back on the twenty seventh to further? That's the third thing. We just had the third thing. Right to talk. Yeah. No, the twenty seventh. Oh yeah. 27th. To talk about you know what does this look like if we don't if hire. we don't have you know if we don't have a we never had a fifth person so that's kind of but we 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 normally had a spare. So what does it look like if... Well, I can give you some scenarios now. No, no, let's do it on the 27th yep. when it's on the agenda. Put it on paper. Put yeah. it on paper so we can look at it, have it documented, see what it looks like. Because we want to also, we also want to get the message out to the town's folks right. that right. this is an issue, we're working on it, this is what could, you know, this is what this winter could look like for plowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we want to figure out, we want to have a way to message it based on the information you provide us. Mm -hmm. So send me, send, send us okay. something in writing before the 27th, and we'll put this on the, to have a discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay? I saw recently, this is an aside, on East Montpelier's Front Porch Forum, something big and provocative, I, off the top of my head, don't remember the topic, and, and the select board, it, it wasn't, it wasn't um, Seth or Bruce, it was somebody else on the board said, we're going to be talking about this guy in town. This is a big thing. You know, if you have thoughts, please get in touch with the select board or, you know, come and listen at the, at the meeting. Just something we might think about when we have something of this magnitude. Yeah. Okay. Um, the study. I sent out an email twice to the folks that we agreed to. <laughs> Um, and Cliff is not available. He's got a whole bunch of other personal stuff going on. And Mr. Hyde wrote back that he was unavailable, that he was doing other volunteer work. Um, so we need to come up with some potential people to work on this committee. Um, Who else was at that meeting, Mr. Barash? There was Bill Davis, he hasn't responded. There was Don Singleton. There was, we can look at the minutes, or the notes, because we don't get official minutes. The notes and see who else was there. I was actually thinking about us, about Rose. Um, Rose Pelchuk. Rose Pelchuk. Oh, she does Yeah, she did. But I didn't, I didn't ask her that because I wanted to run it by the board. Mm -hmm. So I can call her and ask her. I'd be willing to make a phone call to Bill Davis if he hasn't even responded and say, hey, you know, you were at this meeting, I was there, we wanted to take some next steps with all the good discussion. Please get back to us. Hope you're, hope you're well. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then also I want to look at the notes and see who else was at that meeting Scott, in the audience. Scott message? No? No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think he was there. Anyways, so I just wanted to bring that up, mm -hmm. that we don't have a committee, and we need to find some names. So I'll contact Rose. Sharon's going to call Bill Davis. Right, anything else? 
Now we're going to come back on the 27th with contingency planning. Right. Right. And he's going to come back. We're all coming back next month. Right. And it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't have to be one plan, Alfred. You know, different options. Well, yeah, I think that's that's my vision. It's just certain, certain circumstances that right. and what is some this? of the roads aren't going to get plowed on time. Some of them aren't going to get sanded as much. Right. So I mean, it's going to be bus routes are a priority. And I was going to say, the mm -hmm. bus routes we know are a priority. Some emergency so routes. We're just going to have to wait. But the second, some of the secondary roads, like my road, you know, so you have to so you wait. Maybe we roll the roads and we start taking sleighs again. They have a bunch of snow rollers in we'll talk about that. They do. <laughs> wow. Okay. They do, and then we stay with the, 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 the American Snow Roller Museum. No. Really? Mm -hmm. I can try to I gotta go. Um, I, I love that stuff. Scott Thompson on mm -hmm. the committee. The Old building too. before. I can see if he did. I haven't seen it, but I heard about it. He wants to go. Yeah. No, let's talk. Um, all right, East, we're, we're actually ahead of schedule. Um, East Callis Stormwater Treatment Plan, and Rick asked for a half an hour, so Rick, it's on you. Okay, well, let's go. Let, well, we'll be, let's bring that. in, I think we've got, uh, um, we've got the uh, consultants where, here to talk about this, so. Why is, Katie, are you Jessica? there? Jessica? It all, went, it all shut down the Zoom. It's all gone. Where did it go? Just hold on. I, I was on Zoom too, and it just disappeared. Oh. Right. And everybody in the audience, did you sign in? Thank you. That's good. Jessica and Tim. Oh, boy. <coughs> Here, we, Here go. we go again. Oh, you know what? We lost Wi-Fi. Yeah. Again? Well, that was nice while it lasted. Let's see here. Who's got a phone that... Oh. Thank you. Okay, uh, you got to reconnect the Wi-Fi. Trying to connect. You got to go up into the Wi-Fi, turn your Wi-Fi you know, up on the Wi-Fi button. It's back on. Yep. Oh, it is? Yep. Okay. Yep, there we go. Oh, sign in. Here we go. We to Katie, up. we yeah, lost I'm, you there yeah, for I'm a second. We'll um, Zoom shut down and we lost Wi-Fi here. And I've got to find... But it's back. i got to find my password. Where did I... <laughs> okay. Talk about the plans, so... Hey, Katie. Perfect. Katie. Well, Katie. Oh. Well, John is on. Uh, I, got, I just turned my audio on on my way. computer. I'm on Zoom. Katie, how do I sign back? In the chat, Katie, they would realize. Okay, can people quit talking, please? Pam, I need you to stop talking for a minute, please. She can't hear you. Did you relax? She can't. How come? Because it's not. You're not turned on. So how do I talk to Katie? So you have to be admitted. You use my computer. Katie. Oh, wait, I think I'm on mute. Oh. There we go. Katie. How do I see? Okay. All right, so on, this, on the computer screen, it says callus admin at Gmail. And then it says enter your password. Yep, why don't I text it directly? Does that sound fair? I don't. How are you going to text it? I don't know. Okay, I think it's it to me. Passwords on the agenda. I think it's here, right? No. I'll give it to you. Here, just type it in. No, it wants the, it says Zoom. That's it, that's your Zoom password. 217042. That's. John, you don't think she needs the, um... She needs the administrator. That's, that's right. right, that's what oh, I'm that's, saying. Oh, that's... Right. Well, yeah, type, you're hit, getting... Hit click. Yeah. Well, there's an administrator password, it's different. Right, so I'm gonna... I don't know. All right, <coughs> so I wanna... On my little cheat sheet, I've got a password that is associated with the Catalyst admin at Gmail. Is that the one I want? Does it have a lowercase C? Yes. That's right. I have heard from my nose. Can we read it to you? No, just hold it. There you go. Okay. See? Uh, so it's 
So Katie, I can't, I can't hear you, Katie. We have to quiet down everybody for a minute. What did you say, Katie? Right. Yeah. Katie. Can you unmute it, Denise? I'm trying. There we go. Thank that you. work? All right. So did you put the? Maybe I've got the wrong password. No, that's the one. I, that's the one I tried. No. I just text. I just sent it in the chat to Yeah. Chat. No, it's not A. It's not. Oh, yeah, you're already there. Right. You're already there. Capital A. All right, now, now i got to start over. Okay. C at 1. I'll mute you guys so we don't get it on the recording. Okay, okay I'll mute myself. Okay, thank one. you. So a. it's C at 1, capital A. Yeah, little I. Dollar sign. Yeah. Oh, a little I. Yeah. Dollar sign. Dollar. Start. Now we're cooking with gas. Not oil. Recording in progress. Oh, the game's all here. Great. Game's all here. All right, share screen. All right, Katie, it's not letting me share. That's a good thing I was on Zoom. That was just fucking around. Katie, it won't let me share. Do you have to give me permission? Katie, she's unable to share. Share. Can you hear me, Gary? No, she can't. I can't share. Great. Can you make me co-host? Yeah. Um, you are co-host, Denise. You've signed in as co-host. Do you have screen share option? Yeah, now how do I get rid of this little box? I wonder why it blinked out. That was weird. We lost Wi-Fi here. Totally. Yeah. And I wonder why. It's not doing anything out there. It burped. Because <laughs> you all said it was so awesome. Right, I guess. Yeah, maybe we've got too much signed out. <laughs> I'll close this out. I've got some. You are screen sharing. Okay. So now I want to close out of this. Um, document, Katie, that we were working in. I can't hear you. Katie's muted. Yep, so um, can you can you move over the Zoom screen so that you can see behind it? Is this um, internet browser that you have open? I don't see anything. Uh, Is it, hit, a, hit escape on your keyboard and that'll take you out of full view. No, it's not. You didn't? Um. Okay, it says work offline. Denise, you might want to stop sc share screening or screen sharing. Yeah. <coughs> and if you want to share something different now, it might be easier to move this screen over and open what you want to see. Or I can share screen if you'd like me to open the next document. Yeah, I just want to get to the document that has to do with the stormwater. Can you, if you minimize the <coughs> thing, Denise, up at the, here, yeah, and now try to get out of this. Denise, if you're looking for the stormwater design, I can always share myself as well. This is Jessica. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> not, it's not letting me work off on this work offline and this little box. Okay, you want it in the essence of time if you don't mind okay. sharing the, the document. I hate Google Docs. It's so yes. Funny. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> Sure. Pam, do you want to do a little intro while I get that shared? <coughs> oh, sure. Let me. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, let's do that, Jess. Um, thanks, everybody, for having Jessica and I tonight. Um, I just wanted to just 
remind uh, folks what this is about and um, also talk about what, what stage we're at and what um, needs to happen moving forward. So this is for the stormwater projects where we've um, gotten funding for you folks for final designs for one project at the post office in East Palace. And the other project is to do some work along Mos Moscow Woods Road and um, restore a gully that has developed down by, <clears throat> excuse me, down by the Kingsbury branch as a result of stormwater runoff. So um, we're, this is the 90% design stage and we got comments from the, you know, the steering committee from the town and the landowners already. Um, and Jessica will be revising the plans based on some of that input. But we also wanted to take the opportunity tonight to present to the select board and get any comments from you folks and answer any questions. I also sent Denise a letter of intent for right. her, her to sign tonight. Um, and it's basically real simple language that says that the town intends to move forward to the construction stage for these projects and that you will commit to operations and maintenance moving forward. And that's something that's going to be required for a grant application. And, you know, just basic letter of support kind of and just intent to move forward and to sign on with the O&M, which is what the DEC requires, the Clean Water Fund requires for any kind of funding that would come out of the Clean Water Fund. What's also, I, if we have time tonight, we should probably touch on um, easements that will need to happen between the landowners and the town um, just to gain access for constru both construction and for operation and maintenance. So that'll include the REC Association um, as well as the private landowners, John Reese and the other is uh, Dwinnell, um, I think Associates, right? Jessica, remind me of that, those guys. Um, so we'll need to get some easements in place and Denise and I have been emailing back and forth and the lawyer I believe is gonna help us, um, help you guys come up with that and um, we'll, we'll move that we can do that more during the construction phase, but that can get moved forward. I just found out on Friday that there was a grant announcement for the block grants through the Clean Water Fund, but I've also heard, you know, that we could potentially fund these projects um, directly from the DEC as opposed to going through the block grant. Um, this particular final design, Denise wanted me to mention, the designs were funded with the block grant program. And that money went from the Department of Environmental Conservation to the Southern Windsor County Regional Planning Commission. And then um, they subcontracted with CVRPC for the funds for the final design. The block grant that was announced Friday would be the same process. Um, so it would I could either get a grant application in with that program or directly through the DEC, but I haven't heard from the DEC yet um, for def definite on that. That grant, the block grant program, the gr block grant application, excuse me, is due on October 18th. So I will let you know um, whether or not, I guess what I would want to know right now is if that, pro if that program is available, if the DEC doesn't wanna directly fund this, if I should, if you guys would want me to submit a grant application for these projects um, for through the block grant. So that's something you can decide tonight um, is fine or shoot me an email later if you would like. Um, and did you I talk, talk about, Rick, Rick is our kind of our point of contact on this. Did you talk with him about the grant options? We talked about that. The, I think yeah. the D 100% right, and then yep. uh, with the, you know, that fat is available to us, yep. that would better. that would be the better one if it's available to us. Well, they're both, the, they're both pretty much, um, the, neither of them require a match. So um, it looks like from what I saw um, on this <laughs> grand announcement on Friday that they have, they might, it might help your chances getting the grant if there is a match, but 
I have to find out from the basin planner what the intent is for these projects first, I think, before we would um, move forward with a grant application. But Rick, why don't you and I stay in touch with that about which one to go, which one, which grant applications we would go for. And um, I can probably do that as soon as next week. But you want us to make a decision tonight and we don't have all the... No, you can't really make a decision tonight. On which grant? Right. Well, you can make a decision whether or not you want, yeah. It it wouldn't need to be managed by the town, the grants. Um, so, and there wouldn't Managed. necessarily need to be a, a, a match at all. So um, I guess the decision really lies. Do you want to move forward with a grant application period for either of the programs? This I'm, point? Is there a reason not to? No. No, no right. We have to make a decision. Right. A decision. I think we right. need I don't need to do this. I mean, of course. Right. We've got a failing system over there that's going to be no, no, no. And I don't think the question is well, do we need no. to do the project? The question is do we need which to do grant? It? Which grant? Right. right. Well, yeah, well, I can come. When is your next meeting? The 27th. Okay. Well, that would leave us plenty of time to put an application together if you want to wait until then, and I'll have more information for you. How does that sound good? Okay. The point, yeah. Yeah. We're working with him on getting it. Yeah. yeah. So, but we need to get that letter of intent no matter what. So, because that'll be needed for either program. So, we'll need that. I took, the, I took the letter of intent that you sent, and Katie can um, pull it up and put it on town letterhead um, for the board to sign. Do you want that tonight as our? letter of intent that we want to move forward with the project but it doesn't say anything about the grant because you're just telling us now that you have no yeah. information on grant information on grants correct yeah it, it won't be specific to the grant it's just clean water funding period you don't need to put specifics of, about the grant in the letter that's fine because this is an actual deliverable for our current grant funding for the final design this is a deliverable but I can also use this deliverable as um, as a submission with the grant application, if that makes any sense. And it's the same people. They'll have it anyway. So <laughs> it just has to be bundled in with the application. Wait a minute, Pam. Hold on. Sharon? Yeah, I think I'm in the same place <clears throat> you might be, Denise. Pam and Jessica, what, what can we do tonight? Um, that is ready for us to move forward on. It sounds like we can sign the letter of intent because Denise, you have it printed out. Yeah. And then, and then we can. Rick is already a, our point person, but we could. We if there's if there's a pro con on the on which grant to apply for, maybe we can. We can express an, a, a leaning, or we could let Rick do that filtering. Rick and John as our our liaisons, and you know, for good reasons, move that whole conversation a lot more forward, so that on the twenty seventh, that's ready to go, and we're not either leaving you guys waiting until the twenty seventh, or taking up time here asking you a bunch of questions that. You know, it would be yeah. yeah it would be good to ask. Yeah. It would be good to come back on the twenty seventh with the information regarding the two grants available and what the recommendation is and why. Right. right. Yeah, and I will be coming back with what is available, like what the DEC wants us to do in terms of funding. Okay. So. For these particular projects. Right. So I will come back with that on the 27th. For now, I think also we want to, Jessica to show, share the plans again. Um, if you can let her screen share and just do, um, you know, have Jessica just briefly go over um, the plans and what we intend to do. And um, if there are any comments or questions at this point, this is your opportunity to um, do that. And John and um, Rick have been through these quite a bit, so they they can help um, clear anything up. Okay, as well. so why don't we let Jessica, why don't we let Jessica do her thing? Sure. Thank you.
Thanks, Pam. So I'm going to start with um, the post office area. Um, so as you probably remember, there's kind of two separate projects um, within this project. So one is focused on the, the post office area. Um, I'm going to make, can you make it a little bigger. Do the two finger thing, make it a little bigger. Yes. Well, I can't do two fingers, but I can use the zoom button. So um, essentially, um, what you see above ground in the parking lot is going to be very similar to what you see today out there. Um, the difference is being that in the, the swale across Baton Road, we'll have some check dams. Um, and a new pipe that's going to be under the road that brings stormwater across. And then, you know, you'll see a great inlet here where stormwater can get into the system. And then the underground chambers, the infiltration chambers, are going to be below ground um, with some additional parking lot grading of the existing or a, a, a replaced gravel parking lot that would direct water over and into the small grass area where water can also enter the system with a catch basin and then water exits the system with a manhole cover. So you'll see kind of these um, great inlet and, and manhole cover. Um, and then at the outlet of the system, we're gonna be replacing the pipe under your, your driveway entrance and replacing a section of pipe um, or putting a new section of pipe underground in what's currently a, a pretty deep and eroded swale. So there'll just be a very shallow swale and most of the water is gonna travel um, through a pipe down to that first driveway. And I'm gonna point out a few things. So we had some really great questions and discussion at a meeting about two weeks ago with um, some of the same kind of people in this group. And I wanted to report back on some of those. It's gonna change things very, very slightly. So there was a discussion about how um, you know, this manhole or kind of how do you access the system for maintenance? And I had a, a really great follow up conversation with um, Contact, who designs um, or who manufactures the system. And um, we decided we could streamline it a little bit. One of the things that we had talked about and shown in the plans um, previously was having kind of observation ports. Um, along the system where you could open up a little cap and like look down into it. And, you know, after talking that through with Contech, um, we actually decided that you don't really need those because you have a really robust system for isolating the sediment. So what we decided that would probably be best is to really isolate the system in the areas where you can um, get the vector easily accessed. So one thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually add an additional manhole right here. So you'll actually have two spots at the very beginning of the system where you'll, where you'll be able to vector out, you know, open up the grate at the top and use the vacuum truck to um, get sediment out. And then also this first row, we're actually going to put fabric around that and have it be called an isolator row. So any um, additional sediment that really gets into the system is going to be isolated there. Um, and then, you know, you can actually vector that out, um, you know, with the manholes and, and, you know, existing access. So what that means is that you don't need kind of all over your parking lot, these little kind of caps and things that's going to get in the way of plowing and get in the way of, you know, rutting and wind up being stuck above. So, so the things that are going to be above ground are the two manholes that are going to be in the, the grass area, because this small area will remain grass. So that should be kind of out of the way of rutting. Um, you know, the plow, I would guess, doesn't need to plow the grass area. So that addresses that. And then up at the uphill side, upstream side, we'll have um, the hydrodynamic separator you can see here, the, the man or the grate for that, as well as the new manhole cover. And they're gonna be right next to each other. And what we were thinking is we could have just a small paved area. And I know this isn't on the plan yet. I wanted to run it by you before I change this, but you know, I was thinking just a few feet all the way around to have a paved pad you know, that those, um, the structure rims are gonna be set in. So 
you know, there would be a little bit of protection from, from rutting and gravel moving and, you know, you wouldn't hit the structures with the plow then. And it would be pretty similar to, you know, right now you actually do have a little paved section here that's going to be removed. So I think it would function very similarly to, you know, what you have out there. So I don't know if uh, Rick or John, you know, that kind of addresses some of your concern that we had talked about a few weeks ago. Right, we did bring that up and uh, thank you for doing that. Yeah, is that, is that asphalt going to heave and, I mean, what, I it was gonna be concrete, drainage it was gonna be or if you, whatever you put, as long as that's drained, so it doesn't lift and break it's apart. Sandy. Yeah, it's all sandy or anything. Okay. It yeah, it's very well drained and, you know, I, I was thinking um, pavement, like asphalt, because you do have a section of pavement right near the building and currently you have a section um, that's going to be removed kind of um, near the grass area. And it seems like that's held up pretty well. So I was thinking yeah. asphalt, if that's okay. Really sandy there. That's, that's why we're here. So we don't have that's why we're here. That's right. That's true. That's true. Oh. Good. So there's the paved. So I guess we'll. The, wait a minute. Is the paved piece going to be. It's going to be. Right, right around on the parking lot on the edge of the parking lot of the by post the office. post office. Oh, okay. to protect the inlets, basically, or the, the okay. so a cloud doesn't catch the catch lift and yeah, rip yeah, the thing apart. Yeah, the, protect those edges. Yeah. Okay, so we will add that. So you know, then for maintenance, it's actually simpler than we had even talked about two weeks ago. So there would be the two manholes at the upstream end, and then um, and pretty much it. That's it. So it would all be really concentrated here. And then also the cleaning out of the swale, you know, if the swale gets um, sedimented in. And just so that the everyone understands that's designed, the system's designed as an overflow. I mean, that's where the primary flow runs into those, that tank system. But if, if the system gets overwhelmed, it then, the level rises above the inlet, the invert on that, the pipe that takes it to the tanks and it, and it, will take the overflow down to the existing gully and yep. you know, cross the road. But it's a far but diminished a, flow because- Far of, diminished yeah. because, yeah, because it's buffered by the tank system. So it's really good. In that big thing, the one with the four baffle things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jessica said that the one on the left was gonna be wrapped in some kind of Geotextile. That's to keep. That's right, to but keep. What about the other three? What they don't need to be. They're they're you're basically primary. you've got water. The first one is any solids that happen to get in are going to go into that first chamber. The and one that's got the geothermal stuff or the, the geotextile, geotextile, because that will filter any. Only water will filter through that. So those other tanks aren't going to accumulate particulates. It goes from that one to the next. It's already filtered. Yeah, it to goes that, in so. order, but it. Okay. The sediments all happen in the first tank. It's water that goes. And that's the one that has to get. Vac yeah, yeah, Vacuum. factored out. Vector. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a vacuum. Yeah, that's right. Is. That's exactly right. Yes. So yeah. um, I guess it's a good thing to talk a little bit about the vector. So um, as we've heard, you know, you don't currently own a vector truck. Um, so we, we did look into what it would cost to rent a vector truck. Um, you know, I know this is pretty limited. It isn't going to take that long. There's also one structure over near Fellows Road I'm going to show you in a minute. But, you know, essentially for these three structures, you still need to have the truck, you know, come and, you know, drive there and set up and, you know, do all the things it needs to do to then clean it out afterwards. So, you know, if you do need to rent it for a day, it's $1,500. Um, you know, you wouldn't need a whole day worth of work here. So, you know, Pam had described how there's some other adjacent towns, including Woodbury, which, which is going to have some similar systems and would be, you know, renting this kind of equipment periodically. Um, we also don't really see this as needing to happen every year. Um, part of why we have the open swale and the check dams ahead of the system is to you know, catch a lot of that bigger debris in a way that, you know, your current equipment and, and road crew would be able to, you know, perform the maintenance in this first part without any special equipment. Yeah. What, I mean, what would you use? You don't want to use a shovel. 
So no, what do you do? It's an excavator. Excavator, excavator, excavator to sweep it. what he does now. It's an open yeah. ditch. So it's just oh, I see. So you just take the sediment top behind the check dams. Where does the material go when the truck comes? The back The back truck. The back the truck. Wait, they take it as part of that fee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just wonder where. I think they might need to put it in a landfill. I'm I'm actually not completely it. sure. I think it it's depends sad. like yeah. on who which vector company you're hiring and what their agreements are. Hmm. But, you know, some some property. of them may have like a pit that they own yeah. themselves and they just take it back to their right facility. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's it's a different right. truck. Right, good point. Big. Yeah, Alfred Alfred said there could be other debris in there like soda bottles and yeah. Well, in oil, it's it's like a to not a toxic yeah. waste, but it's contaminated. Yeah, right, so they, they would... Sand. Well, it, may, it may be. I, I don't think it's going to be. So if you get a vector... I don't think they're allowed to just throw it in an open pit or anything like that. Like, it's... I mean, I don't think it's considered hazardous waste, but they're, they have restrictions on... It's the same sediment that runs through every ditch yeah. in the town of Callis, except this is sandier. That's why we're here tonight. Okay. But it could, but it could have, you know, oils. And okay, we've got, we've got ten minutes. We're not allowed to just like throw it wherever and Pam, along with it or something. Ten minutes. Yeah. Um, do you have any other questions about this post office area or any other follow up? Because otherwise, I might switch over to the the gully area. Go ahead the only and thing I wanted to add, just is that, um, you know, we've we've talked with Scott and Chris a lot about this, and we're going to ensure that there is at least. Um, one during construction that there is um, kept open one access into the post office, so we're not going to be blocking. Yeah, up that was that was in the memo. The that, recreation center. Yeah, that's within the memo that Jessica sent. Yep. Yeah, and there's the, there's a whole sheet that talks about those details and how that access needs to be maintained. Um, I know something else that came up was also the the large trees. Um, along Baton Road, adjacent to the post office, we wanted to make sure those weren't um, disturbed. So that's also on the plan. Thank you for looking out for the trees. Yes, they are great. So um, switching over to the other piece, um, we're calling this one the Moscow Woods Gully. Um, it does have two different components. Um, I guess I'll actually do this zoomed out view first because I think this is helpful. Um, so, yeah, so so here's Moscow Woods Road up here with Fellows Road. Um, the, post, the post office is just off the page to the you know northwest or northeast there, and then the gully itself, where the erosion is really the worst, is kind of way back behind um, the village buildings and can be accessed through um, a town path. And I can show you that in a minute. Um, right, that's the, it's the driveway, right? Well, it's the road that- The mill, the road yeah, to the mill. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I'll actually zoom forward to that. So excuse me, like clicking through here, but I think this will be helpful. So, so this really shows the whole project area with a stormwater area up at Fellows Road that you can obviously get to right off of Moscow Woods Road. Um, and then the gully area back kind of behind everything. And then this shows the existing um, kind of historic town road or path that comes around that can access the, the gully. So the town right of way comes all the way into this area, but the gully itself is on kind of two different properties. There's the John Reese property and the Dwinnell Associates, and I might be pronouncing that wrong, but they they kind of own, they own part of the gully as well. So when Pam was talking about the the easements, that's that's kind of part of it to be able to kind of get all the way back to the gully itself. Um, while we're on this view, there's a small amount of kind of road maintenance work. That would be done um, as part of the project to make sure that you know the contractor would be able to get back there. Um, we did walk this with um, a few of you for for input, um, and we put the things on the plan. So kind of widening out the road, 
um, in this location so we didn't disturb the historic stone wall and adding gravel to the steep location and, and those could be left in place post project. Um, and then also having some there's the path continues through here and you'll see this on the next pages, but making sure the path connection continues to exist there. Um, and then, you know, I think related to these. This is the only the, the road improvements are the only piece of the work that's in one of the regulated environmental resources. It's in the river corridor. Um, and we did get confirmation from the state river scientist that this project would not need approvals for that because it's maintenance of an existing road. Um, so so you'll be able to do this work um, here without a permit. Um, but as you look at the entire footprint and then add in the post office work, um, you've exceeded one acre of disturbance. So we're going to be putting together a draft construction general permit, which is the construction stormwater permit um, that would be submitted kind of prior to construction. So you'll have all that information in place and have the permit kind of ready to go um, when you're ready to go for, with the project. So that's the entirety of the permit. And I think it just makes sense to see it with this overview slide here. Okay. So to zoom back through the plan set, um, we have a stormwater settling area or infiltration basin um, right next to Fellows Road. So kind of right here is Fellows Road and here is Moscow Woods Road. So. So this culvert is the, the culvert that runs under Moscow Woods Road and then takes a sharp steep bend down the road embankment that will be replaced. Um, we will be adding um, a stone splash pad here at the base. There's existing stones. We hadn't put it on the plan, but we want to make sure that that's done right there. Um, and then there's some other stone where the, the overflow from the post office system outfalls as well as some um, existing bank erosion and rearranging all the stone down in the forest kind of at the base of the road embankment to um, help capture and spread out stormwater. Um, what you will see up from Moscow Road is um, essentially a just kind of cleaned out deeper um, settling area. Uh, right now, there's a little bit of a depression here and a lot of knotweed. Um, so we're going to kind of have that reshaped um, check dam kind of a thing at the one side and a stone swale where water comes down off Fellows Road. Any questions about this piece? No. Okay. No. Then let's move down to the gully. Okay, so we're zoomed in on the gully. I think I have a global question. Yeah. Earlier we talked about next steps. And as you, Jessica, as you move through different pieces and visuals, we're not hitting into other other things that we need to be aware of as next steps. We covered all that already, correct? Sign the letter of intent, explore grants, grants come back with a recommendation for us to act on at the next meeting. Yep. The, ne the other next step, Sharon, is the easements with the landowners. So that's a uh, next step as well. Jim said he would work on those. Right. And and permits. Um, so you know, Jessica will handle the um, required permits. Um, and then when we get the construction, she'll do drafts. And then when we get you know the construction funding, you know we'll put them in, put the permits in. And, you know, I think one thing I may not have specifically said is um, like our our grant actually ends at the end of this month. So I'm taking the feedback that we got at the meeting two weeks ago from from some of you there in the room and then any additional feedback we get tonight um, or follow up hopefully within the next few days to make sure we have time to do the edits. Um, but we'll take that feedback and make sure it's included in our our final design here. So Jessica, um, so then the, I guess it's a next step thing is if you guys are done with your work, then who is taking over? Pam. So that will depend. <laughs> or maybe. Be. Yeah. So um, who's taking <laughs> over is 
that when we get, we'd have to, we'll discuss that next time because you have to get the grant funding to take it to the next step. So. I I don't understand what you mean. Pam's Pam's the overarching coordinator. Is she's okay. going to apply for yet another grant on our collective yeah. grant? Yeah. So that's we'll talk about the it. grants next time. But that's the, so. What we're doing now is just getting any feedback on these plans from you tonight. Jessica will um, finalize them to a hundred percent. I will send those all that those hundred percent designs to the town and the stakeholders, and then. We and we will decide, you know, at the next meeting, we'll figure out the grant funding. And then the, then the project moves from final design, which is what we're in now, to construction, okay? And so we, we it's all, the, the who's in charge of it is gonna be CVRPC if we get the funding to move your projects forward. Are we gonna be, are, are we gonna have easements? Not by the next meeting. Probably not. No, no. And you, you won't need those really until when you're actually starting construction. So, so we got time for that. Can you make sure the, the plans are posted on our website when they're at 100% before the meeting? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because the memo is on the website. It's on you, the, mean our, you mean the Google? The Google, Google Docs, not the website. Yeah. Google. Yeah. yeah, we'd like to make sure that board members have a chance <clears throat> to look at the plans before the next meeting. Yeah, so, so I think um, if we're meeting on the 27th, um, I will provide these the plans at this level right now because Jessica doesn't really have to get them to me until the 30th. Um, so I can give you the 90% plans, um, which I did email around to everyone, but I, I'll email them to you, Denise, to be able to put on, on Google Docs for the board for the 27th. Okay. Because this is all new to me and right. I don't fully understand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the half of, we're at 8 30. Um, is there anything else you need to show us tonight or can we move on? I, I think those were the big changes we had made. Um, and you know, if anybody else has other comments, let us know. I think that's yeah. it. Jessica, it looks really good. Thank you. Yeah, nice thank job. You. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And, and thank you, Guy. I, I, this is all, you know, a lot of technical. It's really technical, and and I'm Sorry, I'm right. really appreciative of Rick and John for taking the lead and bringing your expertise uh, of half the board to get it this, this far. Yeah, no, well, nice job. And easy with these guys. I'm glad you guys good. understand. Oh, it. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. Pam and Jess, we just sit there. Yeah, and, and Alfred has been very, very helpful as yeah. well. He's walked the site with us multiple times to really uh -huh. make sure we understood. I want to yeah. Yeah, so, I just want to say that everybody's been great. And John and Rick, thank you for your help and input. And Alfie's been amazing. And the landowners have been really wonderful. So hey, if you guys can, if, if, you know, if you can give us any information on other people that are putting these in around that might help us. If, you know, when, when we start factoring these, it may be well, coordination. They said Woodbury. Yeah, Woodbury. Woodbury, yeah. And it, you know, I don't know whether they're going to get funded at the same time or constructed at the same time. So, you know, that'll, okay, that'll so need tonight, to be determined. <laughs> tonight you need this letter. And this is yes. a letter to Thomas Kennedy, Executive Director, Southern Windsor County, RPC. Mm -hmm. um, and it reads, the town of Callis, Vermont, intends to move forward to the implementation stage for the Moscow Woods Road Gully and East Callis Post Office project, contingent upon availability of funding, and will be the responsible party for the execution of any operations and maintenance plan for both projects once they are constructed. So does somebody want to move this letter? I will move. Second. Okay. Further discussion? All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, I'll send this around for signing. While it's circulating, Kate, I have a quick question. Thank um, you. Earlier, um, Pam and Jessica mentioned two grants. Did you get those clearly for the minutes? Which two are we looking at? Just, just, just put down um, clean water funding. 
There's just different programs within the Clean Water Fund. Did you so mention two specific just grants? Just Clean Water Fund. Pam, Pam, could you send two sentences for Katie for the minutes? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because you said there were two different. And that was also alphabet to, to oh, yeah. me. That will save us. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. Guys. Really Thank you. Guys. So, so, Thank you. So, Thank you. so I'm clear we need to put something on the agenda for the 27th again? How much time? Yep. Well, it, can't be a, it, no. can't, it can't be a half an 15, hour. 15 minutes. Okay. Because ah. a, <laughs> a half an hour is like a, lot. a quarter of our agenda. Yeah. Katie, can I put that information right in the chat here for you? Is that okay? All right, thank you, ladies. Thanks, guys. We're going to move on while you're doing that. Um, 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 village centers. Village yeah. designated village centers. I thought maybe um, Jan or somebody would join us, but I don't see anybody, um, although they did get the agenda. So Jan's email explained um, authorizing the Planning Commission to apply for renewal of the Village Center designation for Maple Corner and East Callis, and a motion that authorizes the Planning Commission to apply for Village Center designation for Adamant and North Callis. And these are handled through ACCD, um, Agency of Commerce and Community Development, um, the Department of Housing. So, um, is there any discussion? We've already previously authorized the designation for Maple Corner and East Cal, so this is just a reauthorization. So I guess I would make a motion that authorizes the Planning Commission to apply for renewal of Village Center designation, AKA designated Village Center for Maple Corner and East Callis. So moved. Okay. Second. okay. Any discussion? Uh, just to point out that um, I think I didn't actually notice whether it's in the folder or not, Katie. Um, I, if you, Katie, yeah, you're on the emails. There is an attachment that Jan sent us that is the benefits of being, of having. This, this here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Everybody so, got it. Okay, just to make sure it's in the meeting. Is it in the meeting folder itself? Should be. Okay. Um, so it's on the record. Yeah. That's all. Yep. So I think it should, I think it's all taken care of. All right. Cool. I don't think we voted. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, next up. Um, I'll make a motion to authorize the Planning Commission to apply for Village Center designation for Adamant and North Callis. Second. Okay, any discussion? All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Um, I do have a... Do, do we have to sign something for this too? No. Okay. No, just the motions, which Katie has. Um, and then we can send the Planning Commission the minutes when they're ready. So Rick or John, this letter, do you want me to scan it and email it to somebody? Could you, could you email that to, yeah, to write to Pam? Dan, yeah. Is that who should go to? Okay. Yeah, 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 I can do that. Dan, Dan, that's good. I I my who. scanner's down right now. There was a <laughs> Oh, okay. That's fine. All right. Um, East Callis Eastman. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Jim, after our last meeting uh, on this topic, Jim Barlow, on behalf of the select board, drafted or uh, I guess tinkered is a more accurate word because the uh, Lisa, the seller's attorney, drafted the original. Pursuant to discussion with the board, Jim made, made some tweaks and sent it to the uh, seller, both side buyer and seller's attorney, and has... Is that Gloria? Yep, Gloria and James. Gloria is seller's attorney, James Palmazano is buyer's attorney, and uh, checked in with them, and we have not heard anything back. I went over and whispered to Lisa, asked if she had news that I don't have, no, and I guess the answer is no. No, um, but do you know when Jim Barlow said that? It went, I would say, at least a week ago. Okay. Yeah, it went really, he did it really quick. It was yeah. very shortly after our meeting. I heard unofficially 
that everything was set, so I'm guessing it was received and looked at, but just not responded to. I so will, I will talk yeah. with the attorneys on the other side and ask them to respond. Yeah, that's so all that we process. need. Yeah. yeah, and that's fine, and that's why I'm here tonight, because um, just to hear what needs to, where things are at, and if there's hope that needs to be done. Once, yeah, once we, ha once we have approval that, that everyone's good with the same version of a document, then we just wait out the 30 days, and then the select board can sign it. Right, and that's going to be on the 27th, and right. everything is all set, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, we wait out the 30 days from the original action. Right, right. right. Which would be the It was 26th. posted on the 26th, so, yeah. okay. yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so all you need, or your attorney needs, and um, can you guys share, will you share with me um, Jim Barlow's email address so to speed up the process <coughs> so I can e email him too instead of doing his whole job back and forth? Um, I think know. I think somebody from the board should poke Jim. Uh, I don't want to poke him. I just want him to be part no, of the No, no. I've been in, I've been in email conversation. I've been in email conversation with him. Um, I thought I, he wrote back. No, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What I thought. Um, what I'm what's going through my head, Lisa, is 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 represented by counsel and all that legal stuff. So I think that I will follow up with Jim. And yeah. then you and I can have a direct. You yeah. You, you would can let me know when you hear from Jim. I will let you know what I heard from Gloria, and then you check and really your they end. Need to, I'll check it, my end. And if there's we'll anything know. other than everything is fine, then the two of them need to be talking because right. Jim represents us and is our counsel. Gloria right. represents you as your counsel. They need to be talking to each other. Absolutely, but I'm thinking what probably has happened is all the Gloria is representing me. It's the buyer's attorney is the one who's whose title about? insurance has to be okay with the document. So right. Gloria might have passed it on to Jim Palmazano. Um, and yeah, you can let her know that the board is, the board, I mean, the, the worst case scenario is that they're not okay. And that really puts us in a pickle because our next meeting it is the 27th and the 30 days is up at that point. And, right. that's what we, and we need to have something we as wanna, our target. Right, we right. want to be able to sign off on this if we can. Without having another meeting. I want right. to sign off on it. Also, so I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fine. I will reach out to all of them, and then yeah, and it's what just, I'll do is uh, it's just let you know that I have sent an email. Yep. Right. It's just day, and then um, and that way it's it's time stamped or whatever, and then you can let me yep, know. Yeah, and, I, and I, yeah, I will. I will let. I can let Jim know similarly that you haven't heard any. I mean, you right. haven't heard. I'll just relate the conversation. No, and it, I mean, it was kind of coincidental. I was going to give them till the middle of the month and then say, are we all set? Right. Because I haven't heard anything. So this is kind of timely that it came up and at least I can hear from your side. Yeah, we had, had or not happened. Well, we had it on just in case there was something, some feedback that we need to process. So that there isn't. Yeah. Okay, let me just ask the board has any more questions? Nope. Okay, Seaver, Mary? Okay. All right, so no questions. <laughs> no, not an update. Well, I want to hear from them. What to do about nothing. <laughs> so. Okay, sounds good. Well, and it's good you guys are here for the stormwater stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's right. Yeah. You, you guys have no idea, right? You probably won't see me again in regards to that. You might see some other people in regards to that. No, maybe. <laughs> We're trying to keep the village from washing down That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, if you don't give me the easement, you can let it all wash away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're moving on from that item, I'm guessing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Thanks Mark, for coming. Mark. Mark. No problem. It's fun driving out here. Again. Mark. Yeah. Where are you living? I uploaded uh, those right two now documents. I'm, uh, Helping my daughter out in Berlin. I uploaded oh, those two okay. documents the, for okay. the Gully Project okay. See ya. into the okay. uh, tonight's meeting. Did you have something more? I just uploaded the documents that she used into, oh, into, the, Google into the Google folder. I thought they were for the 27th. I don't, I don't Can you think guys they, make a folder for all that stuff? Yeah, I was just talking pieces. earlier about it because there are a lot of pieces. Yeah, yeah. we talked earlier about making I just a separate so. folder for the East Calais Stormwater Project. Yeah, we need to do it. And I then just... move all of those documents into that one folder. Yeah. That's what I started doing with the ARPA stuff. Yeah. 
We just have to figure it's it out. It's just too much. We don't want to, otherwise <coughs> it gets lost. And okay, now which meeting was that? I really appreciate it, by the way. Whoever put the numbers on tonight's agenda. That was Katie's idea. Katie. 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 Whew. I, I didn't compare, but I guess. It, it sort of is in order from the yeah, agenda. Yeah. No, it really, it really helped me know whether I'd already looked at that one or not. Yeah. Which otherwise has been a crapshoot. Well, Katie, okay. could you create a folder in that in that Google Doc for that East Calla stormwater project? And we will, once yeah. we have the folder, we can move those over or anything related to that. We'll copy yeah. into it. I'll leave it on the agenda folder too, but we'll duplicate it in in that. Yeah, we all need to have access. Right. Thank, Thank you. Katie. All right. Town Highway Seven. So this is just an update. We're going to have to look at a new date for a site visit. The weekend okay. that we were looking at was is fall foliage weekend. The Conservation Commission is going to be doing some kind of a tour of one of the forests. I can't remember which now one it is, but they'll likely want to be able to attend this site visit, I would think. Is this the one with the chamber and everything? No, this is this Town is Highway 7. I don't know. This, this is the Town Highway 7. Oh, the, Jill and Gary Schultz. It's the discontinuation. Discontin discontinuation. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. Is that the one that we were going to do on Saturday the 25th? Yes. Okay. Um, do it. Mm, I, I don't know. I have to go back and look. We had, no, it was going to be in October. It was going to be October yeah. 2nd. What is the road tour that we have on the 25th? I think that was one of the tentative dates and we didn't go with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Great. right. Because this is yeah, County that Highway was, 7. We need it's to bad. Do days. Fall foliage weekend is a bad weekend to do sure, anything like this. Okay. We're all busy. You know, people are... I'm getting drunk on apple cider at that point. Okay. It takes longer than that for it to, to cure, John. Add some whiskey. Okay. So, um, and I've got to... Reed help me out with... Um, the name and address of this lumberjack, lumberjack, something or other. It's lumberjack LLC. John and I have been in contact with Gary because we're kind of. Reed knows about it. Because we're kind of um, tag teaming on this, so we just need to we need to make sure we get all of the right landowners addresses because they have to receive notice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's just the update. Just to let you know. Nobody knows who Lumberjack is, but the secret we think I that we're going to uncover is that Reed is actually a Lumberjack. I thought there was some kind of pancakes made called Lumberjack. He's got an alter ego. He has plaid and a hat and an axe. He yo. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of it. Is the uh, notice that's required, is it 30 days? Yes. Yes. Yep. But it's suggested that you allow 40 days so that you have time to mail stuff to people and it gives 10 days for it to be delivered. It, it should be certified, shouldn't it? It doesn't say that, no. Uh, I, with this outfit, I would because uh, it's, it's a whole bunch of people. Yeah, it's a consortium or something. That might, we the, might want to do that, protect our, cover our... Certified to the lumberjack people. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think it's... A, um, LLC that is part of a trust. Okay. It's, it's, um, the trustee is the Bank of America. But I'm not. Oh, you know, but I'm not a lumberjack. I'm pretty sure of that. I, I haven't. Okay. All right. Um, so that's it. Okay. Cool. That we really was a, five minutes. We need another date then for. Yeah, so, I'll have to work that out. Okay, so then, no, we're not deciding that. Right. So you, you set a date? No, we got to figure that. I got to count backwards or forwards, one or the other. But I want to get all the addresses and stuff first. Oh yeah. Because getting some of those might be a little tricky. All right. Um, is there other updates? I do want us to go into executive session. We I do have a comment on the minutes. <coughs> huh? It says review and approve minutes. Right, but we're doing, if there's other updates first. Oh, no. Anybody? I want to go into executive session, too. I have a question, personal audit, question about the warrants. Okay. Anything else? What are we? I want to, well, Thanks, we're going to do, let's do the minutes of August 23, Katie. 
Oh, actually, I have one other question of update or old business things. We were supposed to tonight um, at six o'clock work on our wish list for the personnel policy. Yeah, we never got to that. No, but, but we it's, have a it's disappeared. It's not even on the update list, so we got to get at least. You mean a future agenda items list? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's what the hour. We had said we would do that tonight. Right, we didn't have it on, and we didn't get a chance to get to it, so we'll have to put it back on. We do have the signed contract from Cindy. Remember, we approved it and signed right. it, and I sent right. it to her. She signed it, so there's a copy um, on file in the office. Um, but we said we were going to... Yeah, we need to do that. We need to do our wish list of what we want. the idea we'll do our wish list, give it to her. Yeah, so yeah that, and I think, well... We can meet at six on the twenty seventh, maybe. Um, maybe we'll have some more, or maybe six thirty on the twenty seventh to talk about the personnel policy because I really want that to get done. We should be able to approve if I make if if I send that stuff to Katie, and we get another clean version of the of the guidelines we that should take us if everybody looks at it ahead of time that should take us five ten minutes to approve mm -hmm. so we don't need another whole hour on that but i think we we need to get the personnel policy done no no no. i agree with you i just don't want to i don't i'm just saying could you we could the guidelines are ready to be five to ten minutes in the regular agenda we've beaten mm -hmm. we've beaten that to death and then I, get approved yeah and i think and because Mark will need to get up to speed and Rick somewhat about the personnel policy stuff, um, maybe what I should do is send you the la the last version of the contract that we were negotiating, where we thought we thought we were ready to sign. Yeah. yeah. And that's when they you have that. Okay. I've looked at that before when you first because when I first came on. I gave it to you then. Well, or yeah, I read it. So. Another, yeah, me too. another, another, and different thought is that we uh, we in addition be looking at the uh, the first proposal that we put in place because that's what we mm -hmm. that's what we want in our personnel policy. But do we but, want is what we're looking for a list? Yes, we want a list of what we want in the personnel issues. policy to give to Cindy. It, you know, it might make more sense to ask Cindy to join us. We have other things too, though. I think it's because we're paying her. I think it's worth our. It, it isn't just. It isn't just. <coughs> our, you know, whatever version of the negotiation. Um, well, why, let's do this. Why don't you and I work on a list? I think it's a great idea for some subgroup of us to come to the meeting mm -hmm. with a, a list. Or you and or I can work. Said, and I can no, work I, I think. But I think we have a lot. Of, I don't have. I wasn't part of those negotiations. Yeah. yeah, I think we have a lot of experience with just what we wanted. Mm -hmm. to, but we should have the discussion. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And and you know we didn't sign it. We don't have a union contract. I, it's really to me that's that's you know that's useful because it's kind of an outline of personnel related issues. Right. But it's no more useful than that. It's like okay, did we think of this? What do we want in this? What is well, what I is think, already in the policy? Well, I think we need to look at the most current personnel policy. Right. So I would ask everybody to look at the most current one. I think it's on the town's website, and then if you're game, we could work on looking at that and coming up with a list. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's do the minutes. Um, I just have one comment on the minutes. Are we on the August yeah. 23? Yep. <clears throat> I'm not sure what wording I want to propose, but where are you? I'm on paragraph two near the end of the paragraph, naturally something I either said or intended to say, but didn't say right. Uh, where it says at the very end, Mark Mahali identified any member's communication with the town attorney as a special situation. Well, that's true, in which there's a need for all communication with him to be copied. I guess I think three things about that, and then I'm not sure what it should say. But that, that's what you said, though. No, it's not what I meant. 
Um, <laughs> any members, I think, now, let me say what I think should happen and then we figure out the right language. Mm -hmm. One, any individual members written communication with the town attorney should be copied, number mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you even delete my comment that Mark's kind of going to use you anyway? Okay. Right? I'm just saying, yeah, it should be copied. And I think that any individual oral communication eventually should come back to the board, should mm -hmm. be reported to mm -hmm. the board. In other words, you yeah. can call the town attorney and right. talk to him, but it shouldn't go very far. Mm -hmm. So any oral communication should be should, minimal. Should, should be... Well, know, no, we have involved real. conversations. I'm yeah. sure Sharon had very yeah, involved. Well, well, wait, I'm talking yeah. about that. But any individual's oral communication should within a reasonable time be reported to yeah, the board. Sure, at the next meeting. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. within a reasonable time, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, when the board is delegated, pursuant to our policies, to one or two of board members to work on a problem, mm -hmm. they can talk to the city attorney as much as they need to, as mm -hmm. long as it's eventually brought back to us, mm -hmm. the including mm -hmm. the comments of the town attorney. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's so all I meant. Yeah, because yeah, I generally, if Jim, if I email him with something and he responds, I forward it to the yep. rest and of the board. And he usually does copy. The thing is, he copies really, the chair. You know who's the he real, copies the chair, talk, not okay. all of us. Well, you know, but I usually send it around. And then the chair sends but it around. I, I, that's right. For example, if I have a conversation with Jim about the dam, mm -hmm. I'm going to copy you too. I'm not going to bother you guys until you two decide to bring the damn damn to. And you'd be having it. You mean when you have the conversation as a citizen? Citizen, right? Yeah, or right. you know, okay. I'm a member of the board. Well, I, well, I mean that's important to get that clarified. Yeah, thing. Right, because well, he, so, a citizen cannot just call him up and use our money and. Right. Exactly. If you're having right. a conversation with him, I almost want to say, Mark, you shouldn't be having. Conversations of the town attorney, oh, attorney yes. as wearing a citizen hat. I'm not. Okay. But, but, <laughs> but no. But all I'm saying is, is if we designate, like what we just went through, is a good mm -hmm. example. We appoint her mm -hmm. to talk, you know, to work out this easement and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need all need to know about it until you're ready to. Report no, back. that's how we do. Do we do just out? I mean, this is a. I mean, I, this is just a question I've got. If we're there in all these things, you know, do we recuse or don't we? But like, for instance, your, yeah, say okay. your involvement with okay, the Okay, I, this, this is, is a really good example. That's a conflict of interest. Yeah, when, right? it, yeah, yeah, yeah it is, potentially. When I, or perception. For example, when mm -hmm. I got on the board right away, I right. talked to Jim. Mm -hmm. I asked him whether I should, do I have a conflict of interest with respect? I'm talking about a legal conflict. Mm -hmm. There's a question of perception. Right, that's right, right. Yeah, so right, someone, right. he can say you don't have a conflict. But it's a perception. But it's a perception. Oh, okay. public perception. Yeah. So I asked him, do I have a conflict of interest with respect to the East Callis store? Mm -hmm. We talked it through and he said, I think you do. I agree with him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then he, I asked him, I told him all about the dam. He said, I don't think you have a legal conflict of interest there. I think it's more now, because you see, I own property. Mm -hmm. on the pond. So right. if there were a dam approval, it would benefit me. He said, right. yeah, but that's like you lived on a road that that's was right. going to be improved to and paid. And you, you know? live in Callis. And not everybody on the road right. Right. is, yeah. is recused. Right. Right. That does not mean, so for example, to be very clear, mm -hmm. if this body said, well, Mark, yeah, that's true, but we don't feel comfortable with you. Shit, I would I would, it's still I would, your call, but you well, think I, 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 well, I think I, maybe well, that point is to, I mean, I only use this as an example, right? Because it's one, I mean, maybe, maybe in that discussion, it's because it's out in the, it's out in the open. If we yeah, decide or do we, well, you, what do you I, think, I think Sharon? Conf, well, I think I, one, I have two, two things to say. One, I'm not sure what a legal conflict of interest is. Right. Um, mm -hmm. There's a there's the pecuniary a pecuniary interest is one. Well, it's yeah. very complicated. But but, but but is that actually in the statutes or is that uh, and that when I say so what do we mean when we say legal? What grounds right. something as a legal conflict conflict of interest? Um, 
I'm not, I'm, that's frankly a new concept to me. Right. The idea, we... we it the, must the, be defined in VSA. Uh, I mm -hmm. am not sure it is, because the, the well, the leak, so... And then I, the leak has its guidelines. There's a, there, I made a folder that's out there, you guys. It's not very deep. I forgot where I put it. It was called Conflict of Interest, and I put a bunch of different it. things in there. Um, yeah. Anyway, really what we should say is that is a whole other can of worms because, because the biggest issue we have is whether, even, even, on, the, even on the pond, um, do people in town trust that you can be objective? If you're when you own property on the pond, mm -hmm. well, that's the perception. And that's that's the perception. Right. Absolutely, yeah. but, but it's but it's always when it comes right down to it, it's always the perception is always the biggest. It's thing. always about it's really always about perception. Mm -hmm. I'm that's not about, aware. Well, I, I'll tell you one that that's, that I think might, if there was a standard out there, and there should, if and I would hope there is, if well, I okay. were a select board member, and I were also bidding. On a contract for the town, you can't do that. And, well, right? Is that illegal? It's illegal. It's flatly illegal. Okay, so so there would be a bright line. But, if I, that's, well, I think I'm, it should be illegal I'm, I'm, in the state I'm, of Vermont. I'm, let's take this offline because I'm really curious about where that is purely illegal versus some of the other issues because the league lays out actually in their materials they go very clearly for different areas of conflict mm -hmm. that you need to that you need to be considering and 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 direct financial is just one of them right. yeah. and they line them all up equally right and right. Then I guess financial would me could be because the you value have a key, your property value yeah. of your property it, it probably what Jim but if, it's, it's if not. it has to do with others or general equally or, or general right, right. affected interests so if like the road I know I was going to say something um, like the road thing like so, if if you know the folks in my neighborhood think that Singleton Road should be paved, and somehow that's a benefit to have having cars go down your by your house right. fifty so instead of the 40, value of your house goes up um, or down, but um, or down. Mm -hmm. I mean that could be a financial yeah. thing. I don't want to see my property depreciated, you know, because they want to pave the road to the school or something. Right. So, you know, I have a, a personal interest in that. But there's a broader population that also has an interest. So, yeah. and and at some point, and actually, when Jim Barlow was uh, a league attorney, I had this conversation with him because mm -hmm. I wanted to know where things went, and we explored this <coughs> area of law. And he, he and I, you know, had this kind of part of the conversation. Was, and I can't remember who brought it up. It's like, wait a minute, you cannot be a member of this select board unless you're a resident of this town. Right. Therefore, we all have a conflict of interest in terms of. Trying to keep our taxes low, right, right. trying to sure, help our neighbors, scale. trying to maintain roads, you know, so which include our roads yeah. that we live on. So there's there's an inherent understanding in the law by virtue of us having to be residents to be on this board that there's some level of interest, personal interest that's affected in our everyday decision making here. But I but it gets it gets it can get more increasingly focused, and then there's a maybe. What if there's only two camps on Curtis Pond and you're one of them, maybe that's enough of a focus. If there's 500 camps, maybe that's less of a focus because it's more like the town. Right. It's, and if it's only you, then... Right. That's a real... Right. I think and, and when it's, when it's your road... Paving the road to your camp. Everybody, everybody has a road, but to me that would mean when it's your road that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing to say, what's the road budget and how much sand do we want to buy? We're all affected equally by that. Right. When the conversation is, is that stretch in front of your road going to get paved? Mm -hmm. That is a you issue. And it's true everybody else lives on a road, but only one person lives on the road where there's a conversation about paving. So, so my understanding is that that example, because I had a direct interest in a class four that wasn't appropriately thrown up on my property. I recused myself because I felt that I had a personal interest in it. I but I was told that. by counsel, to counsel, well, Jim as the lead counsel and whoever the other counsel I spoke with yeah. uh, from uh, Stitzel that I didn't have a conflict. Well, yeah. that's perfectly But consistent. But I felt 
conflicted. Right. Yeah. I so, felt emotionally but, conflicted, so I recused myself. The, you did not have a legal conflict. Right. But you felt you had a perceived Perce conflict. That's right. So you recused yourself. That's right. But but a legal that's conflict right. again, Mark. A legal conflict. I don't know where that's grounded, and I'm really curious because because right. because what the league lays out in its materials, the conflict that Mark that that Mark sorry that John is describing is the one where a he knew he wasn't objective about this road. And, but the other issue is when you're in a decision-making um, situation, whether it's money or not, do people trust you because of your connection to the issue? <coughs> do people trust you yeah. uh, to be objective? And and that's that's where you don't have to have you don't have to have any financial stake, mm -hmm. but but. But you're a member of this board, mm -hmm. and you might be a member of you know something else with well the ECCT. That's probably where you why why you landed here. Right. You've got two different masters looking to you for you know leadership and having an expectation, and you can say I've had this conversation with people saying, well some folks can do that and some folks can't. It's like yeah. it's really not about. <laughs> I've heard is, judges say that. It is not. It is so not about whether you can be purely objective. It's. It, I mean, what does that even mean? It's really about what do people expect of you, and what does it look like, um, and do people trust that you can be objective when you've got another role or, over here? Do yeah. you think you can be? Well, I mean, ultimately, like Coney Bryant on the Supreme yeah. Court, after all the, her writings and petitions she signed. Mm -hmm. Can she be neutral and objective on the law? Yeah. Well, the, I think a lot of people think she can. Move, do we want yeah, to move on? This is but can I make one more comment right, before we go meeting. on that? What? And, and you got to ask her. Yeah. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, and, it's, and it, this is that question. You know, we're in that gray area, right, of this recusal. And w is there a role for the whole board? You know, we, we want to have public trust in what we do. Right. And so we don't want to give the perception right. of personal interest interfering with our decision making. But there are five board members, so, right. and so we know each other, we work together. So in those recusal situations, can we, I mean, some are gonna be obvious, where we, rec we recuse ourselves. If it is a gray area, do we do, do can, well, any one of us Anybody, make yeah. can appeal to the board saying, should I absolutely. recuse oh, yeah. or not? And then we say no. We can ask you. And, well, yeah, we, and okay. We won't That's you can't direct. No, we difference. can't tell you you have to, but we can say, you know, Rick, I'm feeling kind of strange Let's, about this. I wonder if you might have a conflict of interest. Would you, you know, think about that? Right. But we can't say... No, you can't participate. Well, that's good. I, I, I just was saying, yeah. can we? Right. Yeah. I mean, what we would want to do is, you know, you'd, we wouldn't want to lose the voice of any one person unless there really is a risk. Well, right? you don't, so you, if we you, can, yeah, if we can maintain that in a way with still well, keeping integrity, you can integrity. have to a certain extent. Yeah. So, for example, you will see me doing just what you said. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, we're not ready yet, but after I brief these two, mm -hmm. then yeah, when open. this matter actually comes to the board... Right, then you'll recuse yourself. I will. I don't know. I was going to ask... I mean, I've asked Jim, and he says I don't have to. So the right, question so is, well, wait, I, I'm just saying. Well, we said I'm that to me about my to the too. board. And if people, any yeah. number of people on this board think I should, I would, or I'll take that into account. Mm -hmm. I'm inclined to. Sure. But you can, once you recuse yourself, and say, I want to recuse myself. When she gets to the point in a public hearing where it's time for the public to testify, you can testify. Yeah, absolutely. As a, as a member of the public. public. Right, because, Although there's sure. times when you shouldn't do that either. Right. If it's yeah. controversial enough. Yeah. The only time you don't, want to, recusal, you don't want to be seen as having an undue influence. influence. When it's right. really a problem is when yeah. you deprive the board of a quorum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's and that's where I want to, in, 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 yeah. on the other hand, right? Then you can't. We have five people, mm -hmm. so so there isn't there shouldn't be a problem with two people recusing themselves it's fairly cool. fairly readily. I mean, Denise and Mark mm -hmm. did on ECCT. Mm -hmm. We've got three. We've got three folks we have three here. Folks. Yeah. And it, it becomes a, a problem if you have three people. So yeah. Right. 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 Five member board. So we have a five member board to. to to conduct the work of the board, um, 
And, and the irony to me is where you might be tempted to say, well, they really need my voice, so they really need to hear from me because I don't think they're going to do the right thing. Well, you hear how you just crossed into yeah, sure. influencing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, That's not right. if you feel like you need to be there so that they, to make sure they know otherwise they're going to do the wrong thing, that's exactly the influence right. that you're trying to avoid. If you were accused, you were accused. But you're out. Can we move on? Yeah, 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 no. okay, can we move on? Yeah, we should. Or else, or else we need to make this an agenda item. Okay. Right. right. Excellent topic. Yeah, um, that's it. Okay. Yeah. So the minutes. So you've made your changes. Um, I move to end mm -hmm. debate. <laughs> <laughs> Second. <laughs> All right. I have Jack. <laughs> You can't. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that was pretty much it. I looked at I made a fixed a few typos and stuff, but I think it's good, Katie. Yeah. Thank you. So do we say move to approve? Approve. Move to, moved. A move to approve with yeah, the changes yeah. as noted. I so do. Second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. I'm right. Katie. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, can we have a motion okay. to... Yes. She's ab abstaining. Abstaining. Abstain. 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 Absolving. <laughs> abstaining. Thank you. Can we have a motion to go into executive session? I hope we can be done here by... Please do. 15 so per moved. 1 BSA section 313 to discuss personnel matters. Can you get your hand up? And... Yeah. We have to, we're supposed to say what? Just personnel. Yeah, personnel. Katie's personnel. got her hands up first before we... Katie... Quick question. Um, I there's a there's a meeting from June where it was discovered that there was a motion that was made and then not voted. I went back and watched the video. The discussion was really long and went in a lot of different directions. And it's true, it wasn't voted. I wondered how the board wants to handle that. I don't know how. I guess we would have to revisit the motion at a future Next, meeting. It's gonna be Put something on the agenda to revisit that topic oh boy. and redo the motion. Didn't, didn't, I can't remember what the topic was, but it hasn't, the, sh the ship itself has kind of sailed, right? Yeah, it has. Um, I, th I forget what it was for. Here, I've, can you guys see it? I'm seeing it. Sharon Wood made a motion that the board respond to Mr. Hyde's records request by providing the study of wages oh, and insurance. Oh, that was that oh, We've already done it. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I, can we just leave it? Yes. Yeah, why don't we just document in tonight's minutes um, the, the, over, no, the oversight, we didn't vote on it, but of course it was our intent and we've already provided, yeah, the, ship's provided the information as requested. Yeah, the ship's already sailed. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you Okay. for pointing that out. All right, we voted to go into executive session, so we have to ask Orca to leave.